Yerashai Masse. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Today, oh, today we are playing something I've been waiting for, and I think the team has been also waiting for, as they are in chat. So, without any further ado, let me come right into the shop and let's start this, shall we? All right. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome, welcome to my shop, everyone. My name is Junkin Pom. I am a shopkeeper, VTuber in virtual Japan, not so virtual. And today, today I am doing my duty as the man who's been playing and testing a lot of Hololive production games. That's right. And I am playing a Holostar Ian game. I am playing Protostar Twilight, a strategy RPG. And I think some of the people are in <laughs> some of the people are in the chat. Very excited to see you guys here. Um if you didn't know, as I mentioned, right, I've been QA on uh, some project before and uh mm, i you know as a professional qa i'll um i'll temper <laughs> i'll temper the feedback all right we're gonna keep it uh we're gonna keep it at a useful level <laughs> because um I believe, and I was surprised, when I uh, boot this up, I was like, oh, I would look at that. Ah, this is nostalgic. It's bringing me back my RPG Maker era. <laughs> With, I was like, ooh, little screen. I think on stream it looks great. I think it looks great. It is uh, a little bit bigger on screen. So that's that's perfect. But yeah, we're dealing, I believe, with a um, RPG Maker game. If not, like, you can correct me or anything. And uh, I have a very, very fond memory of RPG Maker style game. I, I have to say, I definitely had an era when I was younger. <laughs> All right. So, strategy RPG, there hasn't been a lot SRPG Studio. What? I've never heard of this one. Interesting. But I gotta say, I played quite a lot of uh, Holo, Holo Life production games, right? And. Oh, does it go full screen? I mean, I don't want to break anything on stream. Let me see. <sighs> okay, it does. Does it break anything? <laughs> F4 of all the F keys. Oh, it does bring everything. It's okay. I'm I I I'm I'm vibing. I'm vibing with the small uh with the small screen. <laughs> I'm vibing with the small screen here. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good to know. It's good to know um maybe in the future um if someone else wants to stream it and they're looking at this and they're like, "Hey, how do I go full screen? F4. Thank you. Thank you. Of all the F keys, it has to be F4. Of course. The one. <laughs> if you tab, it goes back to small screen. Interesting. It's okay. It's okay. Like I said, I'm vibing. I'm vibing with the small screen. I, I played that like that. Listen, I'm an old man. I've been there before. I can do this. Okay? I, I can do this. No, 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 no. Don't worry. I... Totally know that like uh, you guys have been working very hard. I want to talk a bit the, about the project before I, I start. There was something very interesting that caught my attention, if I can say. I I called this game a collabor collaborative uh, work. And I was surprised at uh, the beginning when I saw... Um, 
like the the art style was a bit different per character and i was like okay that's fine they got like uh, different people working on the game but then i also saw that there's different writer depending on the chapter and i was like oh that's interesting it's kind of unlike in collaborative ep episodic kind of game i don't know the flow i've I'm fresh. I have seen nothing of the game. I kept everything fresh for today. Um, but I did think it was quite interesting to go with this approach to have kind of this collaborative work on, on the game. All right. Now, I did notice, though, the audio. Um, I think it's the music is already at 100%. Yeah. Um, so call me out. Call me out if uh, the audio is not loud enough. Or anything right now is it it's there but I think it's gonna change depending on the scene so just call me out and we're gonna fix it as we go my condolences with the team dealing with us RPG oh you know it breeze all right all right all right so my intent also today uh, is to finish the game in one go Finish the game in one go. We're gonna. I think I saw you guys said this is about a four-hour games. I can take that. I can take that. I have that in my in my time slot available. Weekend over here. Hey, David is here. Yeah, of course I'm training this. I just launched a game to give it a try like two minutes ago. It's in. It's written in the stars. Wink, wink. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to play. I'm fresh. I haven't seen any anything. The dev are in chat. Very excited. <laughs> oh, and I've seen, I've seen that it's apparently the team lead. Uh, Felix, you're the team lead, right? I think, um, birthday. Well, I don't do this often. There's not a lot of people coming in the chat and are like, hey, Chunkhead, it's my birthday. There's not a lot of people who do that. So, do you know? Yes, yes, you can with F4. <laughs> We were talking about this. F4, David. Um, I'm going to keep it tiny uh, because for the nostalgia effect. <laughs> and also because I've already set up all of my stream uh, being tiny. But, 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 but. It is uh, Felix Bud Day. And I felt like I want to do something special. Uh, just to make it like extra, extra. And, um... Oh, 31st birthday. Welcome to the 30 plus club. <laughs> um, if you didn't know, um, I'm French. I'm a Canadian French. And <laughs> I've never done this before. And I was like, now's the time. Now's the perfect time. You're about to get the extra junk and special menu. The hidden menu in my shop. The, the one secret item. That people don't get. <laughs> but now people know it exists. And they're going to be like, hey, I'm drunk. It's my birthday. Sing birthday to me. I will sing to you. Happy birthday. En français. All right. <clears throat> Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm going. We're, we're going to go. No, no, no uh, sad music in the back. Okay, there we go. Joyeux anniversaire. Joyeux anniversaire, joyeux anniversaire, Felix. Joyeux anniversaire. There we go. In Quebecois, it would be. Bonne fighter à toi, bonne fighter à Félix, bonne fighter, bonne fighter, bonne fighter, Félix. Okay, there we go. <laughs> uh, the Quebec, uh, Quebec people are a bit more of a rowdy gang, so. <laughs> Happy birthday. Have a great day, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Duncan Sean. Oh, I see, I see, I see. I see. I see where you, which part of the world you are in. Hey, Arab gang, Arab gang, Nando, where are you? <laughs> One of my Portuguese mod, who's uh, always talking about Portuguese, Portugal. <laughs> all right, all right, enough shenanigan, enough shenanigan. We have a game uh, to play today, and we shall be doing just that. All right. <laughs> I'm here, let's go. All right, so let's start this. This is Protostar Twilight. First playthrough, never played. 2 a.m. gang, let's go. 
Alrighty. Select the difficulty of the game. Hard or normal? Now, listen. Yesterday, I was playing a difficult game about climbing. Okay? And, um... I kind of fail. And there has been... There has been some allegation about being an uncle failure. Do you... Me. Oh, me, poor little wholesome old man, John Ken. I'm now being called Uncle Fair. Can you? <sighs> so, obviously, obviously, the only thing to do here is to prove that at least I'm great at RPGs. I know people on Twitter, right? Twitter people, am I right? <laughs> um, so, what I will do In the spirit of the boys uh, No, 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 no Iris, please I am an experienced old man I have played hundreds No joke Hundreds of RPG Definitely Oh yeah, please play normal Uh-oh I will die if it breaks on our Uh-oh Uh-oh Oh no, the devil played the <laughs> No, but my allegations, guys. Ah. <sighs> All right. All right, got to listen to Bird Boy. Okay, okay. <sighs> but have you known that I would definitely be able to beat a game on hard if it's an RPG? You can tell them that they forced me, okay? You can tell them, oh yeah, John Kent, it's not his fault. Devin Chat pu putting pressure on the streamer. No pressure, no, full pressure. Okay, fine. I get it. We're going to play on normal, guys. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <sighs> oh, please be aware, well, this project is very loosely based on the lore of Holostar English. It is purely fan-made and not intended to be considered canonical. From the team, Tactical Elysium. All right. Content warning, and you've been warned for the stream too. Flashing light, viol Ooh, violent language. Ah, that would never happen on my stream. Um, distressing teams, body horror, claustrophobia, graphic violence, such as blood, gore, swearing in adult language, not the seg. Why are we talking about seg here? Mention of self-harm, death, and torture. A very wholesome game in yes. This does make it sound. Yeah, Axel is in the game. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Axel. All right. All right. What the hell? Yeah, I know, Carmen. It's, uh, it's blame the boys, if anything. A game for the whole family. All right. All right. All right. We can take it. We can take it. I'm an adult. Oh, right. The best is uh, best played with controller. I haven't been doing that. I will be doing that right now. <clears throat> oh, narrative voice. We received a quest five days ago. Some strange phenomenon is happening in a smaller town not too far away. There was no name on the request. It was simply sign a friend. Friend A? Now, some might say we shouldn't accept such cryptic quests, but we had no choice. The reward was way too good to overlook. That's called greed and you have a choice. It won't hurt to check it out and see if we can handle it, right? It's like Altair coming to my shop to sell his stuff. Gil always running low on money, man. They need they need uh, someone to take care of that. <laughs> it's as if... <laughs> it's as if it was... Written in the sky. Next line. Man, being broke sucks. <laughs> I know my boy. 
All right. Oh, get out of here. Brutal Star Twilight. Yeah, it does. It does suck to be broke. Act Zero. Act Rider, Felix Wolf. Wolf? Conversation Rider, Nix. Artist, Shen Juju. Sorry, my pronunciation. Also, if the audio is not、uh, loud enough, I'll try to crank it up. It is currently、um, at the maximum, but I can try to、uh, cramp, crank it up. So let me know. I do think that with me speaking, it is at an okay level. Just let me know. It's a sunny day in the higher mountains of Elysium. Sound good for now? Good. This mountain, in particular, is the mysterious peak and the heart of their quest. People complain of a strange sensation if they ever come too close to it. The mountain is named the Traveler. No one knows why. The name was whispered long before anyone lived here. After scouting, Shinri and Fleon gave the, screen, the green light that the era was safe. At noon, Tempest gathered near the cliffs to begin investigating. It's. It's. Oh man.、Uh, there, was, there was a name at some point that j o s u j i sounded like something else.、Uh, hey, thank you for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Ava. Thank you, thank you. All right. <clears throat> okay, okay, okay. Just like when I played, just like when I played、uh, Doppelganger, I'll try my best to make something sounding like them, okay? I, I'm not gonna say it's an imitation, but I'm gonna go with a vibe, all right? <clears throat> There you are. Play on. Play on if I have been waiting for you guys. All good? Did you get any information? Oh, Vesper. Ah! Ah, Vesties. Vesties in chat. Don't cry. All right. Vesper is the first to arrive together with Axel, the rest of the team a few yards behind. Was it Josuke? I don't remember. The scholar's expression is thoughtful as he thinks over Shinri's question. Hmm. It's a bit hard. Story's the same, but there's a few unique details. Some complain about headaches the moment they got too close to the mountain. Some mention falling, falling hill. No, it's, he's not that deep. He's a bit. He's deep. He has a complex voice. L- Vesper has, has a complex voice. It's like deep, but not deep at the same time. Some mention falling hill for a few days. I just use my voice, how about that? And a handful mention panic at the night when they kept,、uh, they slept near the mountain. Crops take the longer. They take like crap. All sorts of things, you know? Do you think that's the work of a piss off witch or mage? Them cursing a mountain isn't too unusual. Certain type of dragon could do this. Especially elder elemental ones. Hey, or. or maybe. <laughs> hey, guys! <laughs> hey! Or maybe the people are just kind of paranoid? When Vesper asked, a few guys even started to cry before he finished his sentence. Fairy tales can be great to keep people under control, you know? Impossible but unlikely. A fairy tale just don't appear out of nowhere. There's always a reason. Magni walks up to Betel, who holds Phantom between his hands like a hamburger.、Uh, it sounds like、uh, the people really do fear something they can't even see. Maybe a mount for spirit. The rest of the team follows close behind, in good spirit. I was thinking about that too, Fleon, but I can't sense any spirit roaming around here. 
At least, not the kind that would cause these problems. Hmm. Haka sighed deeply as Altair arrived with his phone in his hand, hastily typing something. Well, that just means we have to figure it out ourselves. Ready to get the job done, Altair points at Axel. Axel, can you check out the area near the cliff with Akka and Fleon? A sure thing, boss, no problem. Axel jokingly salutes, then pulls. <laughs> I mean, that's totally a, a Axel thing. He would definitely salute. He does it all the time. <laughs> then pulls both Haka and Fleon by the wrist toward the cliff. Everyone hears Fleon complaining as the group leaves. Hmm. I want to check out the section over there. Maybe Shinri and Fleon overlook something. Magni, Bettel, would you do me the honor of joining me? Sure thing, Vespi. Come on, come on, Phantom. Let's check some stuff out. Magni hasn't poked yet. Oh, there we go. No problem. Don't, don't, but don't spread too much. All right. This is unknown territory. Hey, Yuri! Hello! Inashai, Inashai! Fleon's art is here. Every time I see my boy on screen, gives me the worst whiplash. <laughs> ah, it's always like that, isn't it? The artist looking at their art and going like, uh, that's my art. <laughs> and also, thank you for all the support. Of course, of course. I always, I always been there for a, uh, a long time now. Almost two years I've been covering Hololive production game. So obviously, if there's a Tempest Boys game, I'm gonna cover it. Yeah, yeah, I got it. No splitting up, man. What do you think this is? A horror game? Snorting Magni waves at Altair, leaving him with Shinri, who struggled to hide a smile. Huh? What? What? Oh, what? What are you smiling at, huh? <laughs> Nothing. Just enjoying the moment we spend together as a kill. Oh! Do we want to check out the other area? It's okay, um, I'm not gonna give you a no shit Jankin today though. That was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we find something that'll help figure this out. Three hour passes. No, three hours pass. No one finds anything that Hal figured this out. Vleon joins the team with his face puffy and his arm cross. Nothing. We found nothing. This is getting annoying. I'm getting f feeling this is all a huge joke. Understandable, but we should continue to search. Do we really have to? I mean, we've been searching for hours and we've found sticks and stones. And Phantom probably is too, right? For Phantom? Bettle suddenly looks freaked out. You good? You see a ghost or something? Uh, Phantom isn't here. He was. I'm sure I took it with me when he we headed back. I remember him walking next to you when we returned. Maybe he found something? Hang on. Don't worry. I can find him. Just give me a second. Leon raises up a hand and draws something in the air, creating a screen out of nothing. Technology. After he types a few buttons, a tiny red dot appears on the stream. Wow, he's tracking Bettle. Of course, and Phantom. It makes sense. Totally a play on move. There he is, just around the corner, like a two minute walk from us. Near the cliff? What the hell is Phantom doing there all alone? Gah, it doesn't matter, let's go get him. Well, maybe you really found something interesting. 
and he's waiting for us. All right, no problem, Iris. Thank you. Well, time to pick the doggy hop. With Leon and Lee, Tempus makes their way back to find Phantom. Hmm. What's the face, Aka? Honestly, I don't know. There's something weird in the air. Weird? Like, corruption beast, maybe? Uh, now that you mention it, yeah? Man, that's super specific. How do you know? Cause I'm getting the same feeling. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Their conversation ends the moment they finally find Phantom. He sits near the cliffs, staring into the abyss. Hey, Phantom! There you are, little guy! Gen gently, Betel picks up Phantom up. Holding him like a sack of potatoes. Ah, good old potatoes. Hey, uh, out there? Yeah. Uh, can we go home? Yeah, you good? I know you're not necessarily the biggest fan of quests like this, but... I actually, actually bought a couple of the plushies. I didn't get the phantom one. Um, budget was like, okay, I can get up to three. <laughs> I did get myself the slime, the uh, Akito that I forget the name of. Because <laughs> I know that he named him. And uh, the Pinico. Pinico, right? It's like he's not really here, you know? I'm worrying this era is having an effect on him. What is, what is the name of uh, the Akito that he gave him? It's like a, a Spanish kind of sounding name. Would you allow me to observe Phantom? To ease your mind? Vesper carefully approached Phantom in Betel's arm, but stopped midway. Junior? Is Junior? I thought it was another like kind of name. Just then. Uh-oh. <clears throat> Just then. He turns his head to the left. Glaring into the woods. Someone's coming. They're close by. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's it, Don. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like Ricardo, but it's Crow. I don't know. He names a lot of shit. Talking about him, uh, if you if you want some music as we're playing along, I'm just saying it might be his birthday today. <laughs> I see them right there. Oh sh! Between the dark shadows of the tree, a hooded man emerged. That's Ragus. It looks like Ragus. From beneath the hood, they can make out a cold, dead smile as he stops. Almost immediately, Altair moves in front of his team and all his guns saber at the ready. Who are you? Why are you here? Uh, that was you, wasn't it? Uh, the quest, uh, did you send us to that quest to come here? Oh crap, it's a trap? But he's all alone. He can't beat all of us, right? I wouldn't test fate so much, Axel. Stay on your guard. Ah, <laughs> you got it, Gramps. Right back at you. Of course. Who do you take me for? Enough dilly-dallying. I've waited long enough for your arrival. Now it's time to take action. What's your deal, bro? You got a problem with us? Silas Clown. Well, that's what he is. It's time for battle. It's time to duel. <laughs> no, meaningless chatter. C clown I'm a just Altair holds his arm in front of Betel, silencing him. Why don't you just tell us what you want? The raw man scoffs at that and lifts a hand in front of him and point to Altair. At Altair. No, I don't think I will. 
Oh, it's Captain America! Oh, guys, I found out. I found out the plot. It's Captain America. Come on. When you give me hints like that, I take them. It's far too easy for that. Early? Yes, early. For the time being, why don't you all have a bit of fun with one of my pets? A deep roar reverber. I hate English sometimes. Reverberates through the air, and the ground beneath the boys begin to quake. Oh no, it's an earthquake! I should tweet that I'm okay on uh Yeah, I should I should make a tweet that I'm okay. We shook, but we're fine. Okay. Um I'm not sure I like the sound. Agreed. Maybe it's time to retreat. I don't think so. Come to me, my puppet. Oh it's Octavio! Yo, Octavio is Captain America? Huh? Shit, man, the plot. A billowing cloud of pure black smoke seeps from the ground and gathers behind the rob man. <laughs> oh, shit, I've seen this art. Show them your power. Crush them. The smoke co- <laughs> Guys, oh, I know how it goes. I know how it goes. I'm like, <laughs> I'm a writer. I'm an English writer and I know words. And I'm gonna use my big words. And I'm gonna use today the word koalas. What? Koalas? I, 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 I'm pretty confident with my English guys. I don't think I've ever seen this word in my life. Koalas. I'm going to say it means emerge. Coales. Coales. Ahem. Taking a large, demonic corporal fool. Ready up. Oh, no, wait. Ready up. Let's show this guy the power of Guild Tempest. Incorrect. It means to gather. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hell yeah. You got it, boss man. All right, it's fight time. I've noticed, and uh, I don't know if you guys know, D-pad is a uh, no-go on my uh, Xbox controller. Just wanted you to know. If you didn't know, now you know. Okay. I'm going to save a lot because lately I had um, some weird issue. Uh, where my internet stopped working, but just my LAN. And the only way to fix that is rebooting. Let's hope that I'm not jinxing myself here. But yeah. I'm not sure if half of the developer know. <laughs> good, good. At least I feel less alone. Y it should? Oh yeah, no, my D-pad is like no-go here. Okay, um, units. All right, let's look at everyone and their art. Regis Altair is a hero. He has a gun saber, the armor of light, healing potion, and a boost potion. What does the, the boost potion does, though? We'll learn. Strength, skill. Ma I, hope, I hope that you guys look at their stats <laughs> when you inspired yourself to make this. Oh, he doesn't have a lot of resistance. He's weak against magic. Move five. I had to switch to playing with keyboard because my controller had the same D-pad issue. And the L-stick was acting weird. Uh-oh. All right, good to know, David. They did want uh, some uh, feedback, so here we are. All right, Magni, the alchemist. Level... Okay, they're all level 6. His weapon is a sword syringe. Boost potion. Glove cloak. I wonder what it does. And a special mix. Okay. 
Stronger is magic. Uh huh. Not a lot of resistance, too, huh? Interesting. I would have thought the mage has more. It's all good. Vesper, the scholar, with a rapier, of course. And a tome. Why does he have so much fucking shit? It's okay. The older you get, the, the, the more you collect. That makes sense. Healing potion, and he has also his peer, obviously. He looks like... well-balanced. Wait, I'm, I'm picking up right now. The magic is really... Uh, must be really strong. Um, Axel, the gladiator, of course. Fighting gloves. Uh, dog treat. Oh, my God. He doesn't even have, like, potion. He just have dog treat. You guys. You guys. He has his chain. Oh, very strong. Sturdy strength. That's, that's a lot compared to everyone else. Um, Death 30, holy moly, he's a beast, what the hell? Um, all right. Akka, the exorcist, the double spear, that's right. I really like Akka's weapon, but I think we don't see it often. Hmm. Healing potion, boost potion. He looks, he looks a bit balanced too. Man, is there anyone who's resilient? Oh, of course, it's Gav. Uh, it's Gavis. <laughs> I did not even call him Battle. It's Gavis. It's Mr. Battle. Jerry says hi. It's a bomb. That's fun. I like that. The rapier whip. Hey, wait. You guys. Did you guys went and, like, edited your game mid, like, near release to add this? This... This has just been released with his new uh, costume, no? The rapier whip. I think. Uh, he, oh my god, he's so bad. Oh no, he suck at. <laughs> oh, it wasn't debut. Huh? I completely forgot. Wow, I completely forgot. Imagine. I'll have to go check it out again. You never had it with the model. Oh. Interesting. But, yeah, he, he's speedy. He has luck. He, he's good at taking punches, I guess. No, not even. He has death 10. Whatever. Sorry, uh, Battle. <laughs> um, Shinri? Foldable bow. I like that. Again, we don't see his bow often. I wish. Looks balanced. Okay. I've noticed... Some people have, like, very high def. But no one has high res. I'm gonna need to, like, kick Mage's ass real fast. The Archer's support. Interesting. Construct magic... F. F? Construct Magic X. It's a sight. Man, I've... I've forgotten. What are those supposed to be? Huh. Alright. Let's manage. Convoy, trade, rearrange. Convoy. Ah. Oh, I can... Ah, that's it. I wanted to read what it does. Effective against myself. Is that how? Is that what it means? It's effective against myself, demon, master demon. Attack eight. Defense plus three. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, plus HP. That's a weapon. Interesting. I imagine it does... Um... Oh, it does... Okay, I need to read. Reading, guys. A special mix magnet whipped up for combat. Long range only. Okay. 
A very large and intimidating syringe can be used to stab enemy. Injectus. Okay. Interesting. A large clot. Dip and back. It. Uh, na, 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 na. Okay. Now it means that. I need to read. Uh, main weapon, pistol. Long and short. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Stabbing. Wind magic. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Personal spear, go wild. Seal attack. Interesting. Whoa, at 15? OP, OP. Okay. 10. Punches. Okay. A cookie that Bello handed to Axel. Or was it a biscuit? God damn it. Uh, chain, eight. Range, and, and melee. Okay. What was the... Man, the, the spear is really strong. I've never... Like, everything has been eight or so. Oh, 12. Two attacks. Okay, okay. Speed plus 15. Poor Jerry. Attack two... Oh my god, Bell is like so random. <laughs> what is this? Oh my god. Personal weapon, abs absurdly dangerous, but somehow works for him. Okay. Personal weapon, really a secondary weapon, but a trusty weapon nonetheless. Four. Oh. Against dragon, high dragon, hit hydra. Okay. Artillery. Okay. Pierces. The, oh, wow. That's that, that. Wow. Strong. Magical blade. Cannot be countered. Okay. Okay. That's good to know. Magical sight. Construct from an image. Reduce enemy attack. Wow. Okay. Flay, uh... Right now, if I didn't have to guess, um, some character looks really, their weapon looks really strong. Out, um, Axel has the craziest stats. Um, Vesper has the, the strongest weapon. And apparently, uh, Ax, um, Altair is good at killing himself. Okay. There more that I can learn? No, I don't think so. There are supporter. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Wait, this is now different. Oh, because it wasn't taking like stuff from the item when I was looking at them. It was looking at pure stat. This is all the stat together. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, uh, this looks... Uh, he's still 40. He's still stronger than everyone else. Oh, and there's quote. Man, there's a lot of text. A lot of flavor, you guys. You work hard on this. A lot of flavor. I just I just noticed it all have now text. I want to see everything. The masses choose not to act. So I'll take a stand in their set. Ah, oh, this is from uh, debut. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's his childish nature that allows him to speak so freely about his dream. He might even event actually let everyone around him dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. That joke's funnier than me. The jester. Wait, what do you mean it's real? This one arrow shall pay back for dragon dick. Oh, yeah, there was something against dragon, yeah? In the lore? Man, talk about working someone to the bone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Formation. Uh, I think this is fine. Okay, we're just gonna fight. Enough, um, enough messing around. Yes. It's so giant. First battle jitters, huh? <laughs> I'm talking like an experienced old man, huh? It's fine. We'll take him one step at a time. First thing first, you gotta learn how to move. Okay. <laughs> wow, moving? 
Whoa, whoa, that's new to me. How do I do that? <laughs> How do you move out there? First, click. What do you mean click? What is this immersion break? Click on the unit you want to move. Then drag yourself where you want to go. Press the confirm button. Try a straight line. Should look something like this. That was easy. Can I use with other guild members too? No, just you. Yeah, it's the same principle. Try moving Magni to get beside you. Oh, okay. You mean, you mean let 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 uh, the the computer do it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that you can move, you can go for an attack when you're next to an enemy. Make sure to observe opponent carefully. Oh, 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 guys, 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 guys. I recommend, and that's a, yeah, really just a recommendation. Um, enabling skipping tutorial, like basics tutorial. You know, there's a lot of people that might have already played like a SRPG. And maybe like, I don't, I don't mind for streaming, right? But uh, some people are going to be like, oh, I know about this. And you know, <laughs> gamers, am I right? Um, yeah. Okay. So observe the enemy. Wait, what's the map? Vesper. There's a lot of number. That's a combat stat. Crit, attack, all that juicy stuff. You can look it up in the journal. Just focus on the big number at the top. Looks big and important. That number shows how likely it is you'll hit the enemy. Ah, good, good, good. This, this, this is actually uh, good stuff. Um, the higher your speed, the more attacks. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh man, this is like old style Fire Emblem. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how um, these things are easily in, in to, to integrate, right? I'm just saying. Um, that's a good blow. But you know you can deal more damage. More damage, really? If you're lucky. Oh, yeah, critical it. All right. Yeah, Super Ness um, emblem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Van, what's up? You know what I Put the SFX up. Oh, I did. I did uh, put them down. Okay. I did put them down because when I was testing them, they sounded really loud. Okay. I will once I have access to the menu. Do I have access to the menu? Hello? <laughs> the, the BGM is fun. No, I don't. When I press... Maybe... Maybe escape? No, I don't want to quit the game. Somehow, this menu, I'm not able to make it happen with the controller. This menu, I was not able to make it happen with the controller. So you see, when I test the sound, this is crazy. So the, the example of sound for sound volume is insane. So that's why I turn it down. Yeah, but you guys are telling me this is not real, right? It's not going to sound like crazy like that at 100%. It's only there. <laughs> it's a bit misleading, but it's okay. Yeah, um, I, com I can tell you guys I am not able to make the menu appear on uh, with my controller. Maybe I'll go back with uh, the arrow for a little bit. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
I'm doing that, but I should go with Shinri. Shinri has uh Oh, miss. Okay. And if it works like I'm thinking, I'm going to be able to shoot. Yeah. Wait, hold on. Huh? Why is he blue? Oh, is it like using like the generic the generic uh, people from SRPG? I see, I see. Can I re-attack with him? Apparently, yes. Do I want to use a syringe? Or something else? I feel I want to use something else because someone can come in the... Uh... Yeah, exactly. All right. Uh, who else has range? Can I go in the bush? I can go in the bush. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Who has no range? I think Aka... Aka does Aka has range? No. So I need to make him go next to him. Okay. Oh, nice. Wait. I almost died, though. Because he countered me. Alright. Bedel, Bedel. I can't say his name today. Gonna. Gonna send our little friend here, Jerry. No damage because it's fire. Wow. I tried. Um, I think he has range. Yes. Seal attack. Break attack. Oh, I should have done this first. Let's do this. He's almost dead. Man. I tire of this. Playtime's over. Damn right it is. Ah, uh, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm mixing the voices. Damn right it is. You're going down, buddy. <laughs> ben all stop. Why is he so bad? He's really bad. Okay. I don't think you understand the situation you're in. Why don't you show them? The dragon roars fiercely. He's dead. Paralyzing the entire guild and forcing them on their knees. Beneath them, the ground begins to quake again, but this time cracks to begin to form. Please, window, shut up. What? One moment, we have uh, windows being... Uh... I'm breaking, I'm breaking the other, I'm sorry. Garbage bottle. <laughs> wow. How many pack? One, two, three, four, almost eight. Damn, that's a lot of abs. Sorry, uh, the moment is supposed to be very dramatic. Um, <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed the experience of a lifetime. Suddenly, the dragon takes flight, hovering several feet above the ground. I know I will. <laughs> Before anyone can blink, the dragon drops its full weight back into the cliffside. Altair can do nothing but watch helplessly as the cliff shatters, dropping them into a deep chasm. End of Act Zero. The party has been split up. Yes, let's save. All right, Chapter One, Act One, Act Rider Nix, Candor Archives. Huh? Oh, is it like a second? Ah, oh, wait, it must be handle. 
conversion writer Nix, kind of archive. Artist Lumsiro. So it's really like kind of episodic kind of collab. Interesting. But the but it does seem like the story follow. After falling down the hole, Altair's consciousness has fallen deep into the aether. Um, it does remind me, this kind of scenario, it reminds me of Final Fantasy VI. And if, if you know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Five more minutes. Unfortunately, for the leader of Tempest Guild, the room of full of crystal is too cold and bright. His body awakens with a jolt of the cold finally getting to him. Where am I? Oh, I see, and Altair is Superman. Okay, I see. It's Marvel versus DC. Ah, not holding it. Ah, the plot makes so much, so much sense now. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Altair in his uh, Tower of Solitude. Yes, yes, yes. Where am I? Groggily, Altair stands up and wanders through the dungeon. Hello, Star America. Some of the shadow comes from the light of his armor, while others from distant crystal. Altair's armor glows even more. More signs to be careful. However, Altair doesn't expect a human-looking shadow lying a few feet away. The shadow is thin and looks, it looks like it has a lot of garment on it. Altair goes for a closer look. Wait, is that who I think it is? It's the great Magni Desmond. <laughs> I like that even the narrator even the narrator is like bias. Could just say it's Magni. No, the narrator has to also say it's the great Magni Desmond. Unconscious and beaten, but the alchemist nonetheless. Altair grabs a green potion, letting a few drops of the liquid touch Magni's lip. Total bias. <laughs> Magni, can you hear me? The alchemist in question wakes up slowly, trying to get up without hurting himself more. First name, great. <laughs> Last name, Magni Desmond. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, wait, Altair? Where are we? Where's the other? I don't know that either. The best we can do right now is keep exploring. The fact that the alchemist is still in pain, in pain, doesn't help. Nor do the shadows growing behind them. <laughs> oh, and Magni is Indiana Jones. Okay. 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 Oh, I know. It's, um, what is it? Like this classic from Newsground. It's, um, the, 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 the battle of, uh, the century. The, 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 the ultimate showdown. Yes, that's right. That's right. Okay, I get it now. I get it. I get it. The plot is the ultimate showdown. So now we have Captain America. We have Superman. We have Indiana Jones. Okay. Bad feeling about what? Shadow Monster. Wait, what? Shadow Monster. Please tell me you got extra potion in there out there. My potions are too potent for you, traveler. The shadows have two guild members cornered. They have to fight them off. Oh, okay. Let's go. Let's save. And let's fight. What's the objective, anyway? Victory, defeat the general. This guy. Everyone is defeated. Okay. What is that? Mysterious. Oh, Mandragora, kind of cute. Okay. Gonna go 
gun gun saber. I've got a couple more people to murder, so. Ah, I see. Got a couple people to murder. Oh shoot. Oh, talk. Interesting. <clears throat> How are you holding up, Des? Any drinks so far? Nah, nothing. And even if I had been injured, do you think I, the great Magni Desmond, wouldn't have healed my wounds by now? All right, that's good then. You'll tell me if you get hurt, though, all right? Yeah, 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 I got it. You big worry art. Worry, worry, wart. Now, let's focus on the battle at hand, and we're not gonna get out of here by talking all day. Yeah, you're right. Let's get rid of that thing and go find our boys. Oh yeah, let's go. I should have done that first. It's fine. So the conversation writer wrote dialogue between the boys in battle. Yeah, I just noticed that. That's cool. Is there more? No. Okay, let's get that check. Uh, you know what? I think Magni is probably weaker. Oh, but it's not a... It's fine. Chest. Warning. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Be cautious. Okay. And let's go. Let's go here. And wait. Um. Let's put him here. Oops. Huh? <laughs> My misclick is... Uh, no, no, no. I want Altair to go here. And wait. Okay. And I want you to go here and check. When? I feel like I left one of those tanks again. Awareness. Time. Pain. What's this feeling in my stomach? When did all of these crystal shards start to grow on me too? What did Leader do to me last time I saw him again? <gasps> huh? Where did he go? Ah. Uh, that way. I heard them. My friends are back. Did Leader figure out how to get him out? I hear the echoes of their voice again. I've seen their forms walking through the caverns. How do I remember? How I have to keep... I can't, what am I saying? How do I remember? I have to keep it together. I have to warn them. Leader has many ideas now. His mind seems to be lost or has... Or has... Gosh. Journal of Tempest have been sent to the convoy. Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, no, I can attack. Hey, hey. Oh, was that a dodge? I think that was a dodge, right? Yeah, nice dodge. Okay, I'm going to go here. And I'm going to wait. Oh, man, Altair, OP, OP, level up, nice, nice, nice. Come on, bring it, oof, oh, critical, let's go. You can check it again, okay. Level up, wait, I don't want to die, oof, I'm going to need my potion right now. Man, uh, Altair is uh, getting all the XP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take care of this guy here with my big syringe. There we go. And Altair is going to go here. Open the chest. Crystal record. Huh. I'm going to go here. I'm going to take my... Oh, I have two set of healing potion. Stat boosting item. Okay. Use one. Okay, not even full, huh? All right, understood. Wait. All right. Uh, am I? How do I feel at twenty-two here? Oh, I was not ready for that. Oh, nice dodge! Easy. I'm gonna try to have Magni maybe do something here.
Wow. All right. Um, let's hope I kill. Oh, 75. Let's go. And we're cooking. Whew. That was a close one. If he didn't have those healing potion, I think we'd be done for. Uh, actually, the the boss didn't hit me because I dodged, so I would have been fine, but... The two guild members walked deeper into the cave as the walls close in at every step. A blue blob appears in nearby as they get out of one of the narrow section. <gasps> it's a slime! It's a cute slime! If this is about me being too tight, I swear. Altair! Do you see that blob? The blob in question is a small slime, looking like an adventure with small spikes. If... If you got vesties in the belt... Huh? Is that is that an old reference that I don't remember? In the belt front. Altair turns and see the blue slime. Oh, that blob. It looks friendly. Indeed, the blob is cute. It keeps staring at Altair, as if waiting for something to happen. The little guy looks safe enough. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get close. Magni still has his weapon ready in case it attacks, and Altair slowly starts singing. It's smiling. Keep, sing keep singing to it. If you could get it calm enough, we could take the little guy as a companion. Hey, let's go. We can do that. <laughs> it's funny because I did go through the journal, right? I mean, if someone wouldn't have dug before, you would have been like, oh, I guess. But because I did see it and I did mention, oh, it's written companion here. <laughs> Altair keeps singing to the little slime, and after he asks, he asks it to join them. It smells and make a blub-like sound. Blub -blub. Blub -blub. I'd love to come with you guys. I guess we're bringing him, bring him here with us then. You could either put him in your pack, or <laughs> we could have him out and and about. I think you like more out and about, won't you? A concept slime. Interesting. Or entrepreneur members keep going further in, not knowing what could happen next. Maybe their little slime companion could prove useful. End of Act 1. All right. Act 2. Xenexander, oh hi! Conversation writer, L Song, artist, Sky Limit Art. All right. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Wee! That's me. I did some other stuff later too. I'm so happy right now watching you play this. Game we work so hard on. Thank you for the support. Hey, no, thank you. Thank you for the spa. Of course, of course. Uh, I, I've i been planning for a long, long time. It's like the moment this comes out, I'm um, I'm going to stream this for sure, for sure. All the pleasures, man. <laughs> Where, where's this? Where, where am I? Where am I? I got sits up, rubbing his sore back and looking around. Taking in the stagnant air. It's cold. The only light coming from the iridescent, strange crystal lining the walls. Hmm? Oh. Ah, uh, my head's killing me. Did I fall down somewhere? Where are the others? And how... Ah! Uh! As he stands, he nearly crumples again from a crippling sensation. It's as as if the darkness outside 
He's trying to crawl inside him, pushing and pulling at his body. Game out, we panic when it's supposed to be released today. <laughs> that's 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 bad. That that's bad. Ga game release. Oh no, can't boot the game. Yeah, that's not a good. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good thing. <laughs> A fleeting image flashes behind his eyelids. A beast cloaked in black feathers and so, so hungry. The corruption beast! <laughs> oh yeah, it's the corruption beast for real. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You get drunk and moan for free. I mean, technically not for free. You wrote that and then you sent a super. Enjoy. <laughs> Just as the pressure becomes unbearable, threatening to bruise his skin and cross his bone. It fades somewhat. Still there, but little more tolerable, akin to the small tension headache. Oh, tension headache. I know this shit. Oh, I hate tension headache. You feel it, especially for me, in the neck. Like, ah. Like kind of upper neck, not like down the neck, but like toward the head. Ah, I hate it. The lingering ache leave Aka, Haka, more irritated than Perchu. Damn it. I need to pull myself together. I don't have time for this. I need to find the others. Betal? Shinri? Flayon? Is anyone there? Nothing answers. There is only the darkness. The ache from before and an horrible silence. I attack the darkness! <laughs> Belatedly, it occurs to him that even if the others were here, he wouldn't be able to see them. Perhaps... Supply is a voice in his head. They are here, but they can't hear you. He ignores and stubbornly tries. It stubbornly tries again. A few hours pass, at least according to Haka. Guys, hello, Altair, Magni, you there? His voice falters. The heaviness from before weights on him, drowning out the repressive ache. Axel? V Vesper? A anyone? By the way, funny side note, I wrote the entire story of Pearl Star Twilight in only three days because I was expecting a max of 20 people. Ah! Oh. <laughs> ha Well, that's good. Maybe he'd been only the only one to fall down here, and the others are on the surface looking for him. I've actually one of um one of my followers, uh, one of my pumpkins, um, called name is JV. He was also at some point working on on a strategy a strategy RPG for the stars. All done cooking and lurking. All right. Oh, JV, you're here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You were you were at some point working with on uh on something, were you? I remember that. Maybe he had been the only one to fall down here, and the others are on the surface looking for him. He thinks about the faces, and somehow they all look so sad. Maybe they're down here, somewhere in the dark, unable to hear him, lying cold and lifeless. No, no, I, I can't accept that. I, I won't, I won't. He continues to walk. He has to get out if they are gone. 
than they'd want him to live. Oh, I see, I see. So you still are. Oh, okay, that's cool. I was wondering if you were part of this project, actually. His eye burns and his heart pounds wildly in his ears. He doesn't want this to be the end. He's so distracted, he almost doesn't hear faint sounds coming from up ahead in the cavern. Huh? Thankfully, his ears are sharp. He listens more in intently. Strange can't seem to. One voice, a suiting. Ah, it was supposed to be suiting. Sorry, it was more monster than suiting. <laughs> Spent like three to four weeks rushing to get the HQ boy sprite done. I put off Magni for last because his cloak was driving me nuts. <laughs> Understandable. And I thank God less than a week. Yee! All right. <laughs> as, long, as long as you have enough time for testing. <laughs> the QA. That's the QA in me. One voice. A soothing baritone voice. With distinct rising and falling inflection, then. See, we could always kill. A second one, one that is bassy and rumbles pleasantly in the air. Obey Tabernak! I'm judging. Ah, let me judge you all! For at least a good 10 seconds. Okay. <laughs> a swelling feeling rise in his chest. Filling Akka with joy and he begins to sprint. He knows those voices. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why the pose that Shinri is doing right now reminds me of Dragon Ball. I don't know why the pose that Shinri has right now immediately reminded me of Dragon Ball. I don't know why. On the streamer quality assurance. Yeah, exactly, right? <gasps> I'm being used. <laughs> all right, all right. Hit our tonight again. Vesper and uh, Haka, uh, Vesper, Shinri and Haka together is a good trio. I like it. Shinri's Vegeta. What? Vesper, what does his scouters? What does your scouters say about him? No, wait. Is the upper? No, 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 it's Vesper asking Vegeta. Okay, okay. Shinri! Shinri, what does his scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! <laughs> okay. That was my Vegeta, Shinri, uh, Vegeta, yeah, okay. Moving on, Vespi, Shinri! Huh, Haka, where did you... Oh! Haka nearly collides with the two older men. Oh yeah, older men, my people, jumping around in sheer elation. Haka, I'm glad you're okay. Is it just you? Yeah, yeah, it's just me. I couldn't find anyone else. It's okay. We were also trying to find others. But we've run into some issues. Haka look at Vesper, who seems frustrated. Teat worrying at his lip. Huh? Like what? Well, for one, this place is crawling with monster. Strange one, too. Like I've never seen. And Shinri has been having to solo most of them. I want to help besides just healing, but... Vesper lets out a quiet, mournful sound. <gasps> no! I lost my spear. I must have fallen down somewhere I can't reach. <gasps> the tragedy. 
I couldn't find it anywhere. It was my favorite one too. Oh no! Not the Markiplier Spear! <laughs> Given how lovingly he cherishes his spears, this is indeed a strategy. Shinri gives Vesper a sympath sympathetic pat on the shoulder. Mm, well... Haka pulls out his dual spears, spurring them. He offers one side to Vesper. H here, you can use this one. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I couldn't. Th this is yours. W what if I... Really, Vespi, it's fine. Take it. An earlier image of his guildmates lying still and glassy eyes flash through Akka's head. He shakes it away and offers the spear more in ins insistently. Besides, I, I think I feel better too if you had a way to defend yourself. Vesper hesitated for a second before taking the spear gently. He holds it almost reverently like he's handling Akka's firstborn. It's both funny and very sweet, and Akka chuckles internally at how serious he's being, always. Thank you, Akka. I promise. I'll take good care of her. Ah, uh, only a single spear now. Okay. I like that there's two do -do 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 because technically I get one as Akka and Vesper get one too. Just as just as that end of occurs, all three of them are started by a orphically loud squeal. What the hell? Beside him, Shinri looks around before zeroing in zeroing in on something off the distance. He points at a shambling, approaching mass. And now Akka is also nerfed. Thanks, Dev. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Look, over there. It's a bunch of monster. And in the front, that looks like a... <laughs> a boar? Oh no, not a boar! I don't have my spear! Ahead, leading a herd of other creature, a sizable boar steps out the darkness. It snorts and lets out a low, distorted growl. Out of its body, just several iridescent crystal. <laughs> Instinctively, the tree brings out their weapons, and the bull roars and charge. Here they come! Oh wow, there's a lot more enemies in this one, huh? Okay, okay. Let's save. Let's go right ahead and just fight, yeah. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I? Yes, I could. Oh, he did receive healing potion. Wait, yeah, he did. when he when he was given at the the start, I guess. Sigil spear, rapier. Wow, Haka has been nerve hard. What if I trade? Okay, who doesn't have? Healing potion. They all have. Okay. Um. Hmm? Oh, I have to select someone else. Okay. What was this crystal record doing? It was just like increasing stat. My God, the HP difference. Ah, it's okay. I don't want to mess too much with that. Uh, where's the journal, though? No.
Use use item? No. Because we did get um, this book earlier. I don't think it's here, right? Is after you begin the fight? Info is before. Okay. Let's just fight. Yeah. Defeat the giant boar. Everyone is defeated. Okay. Well. Well, I guess we do have some signs of life. Huh? I guess we do have some signs of life down here after all. Heh, I guess that's an interp interpretation for this thing. It's no beast. We can't help though, though. Whatever it is, it's definitely not friendly. Okay. All right. Um, we want to avoid the boar right now. We, yeah, we're going to go like this. And then we're going to finish there. Okay. Um, yeah, journal is in fight. Did leader figure out them out? I've seen them forms walking to the cavern. How do I remember? Buh, 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 buh. Or has it changed? He isn't gentle tempered as he used to be. He wants to dominate and gain control over everything. Ah, I see. So there's hints. By the way, I completely failed to use the companion sh shenanigan. Okay. That guy's gonna go up front here. No. Wait. And then... Then Shinri is going to go here. Oh, we can't talk. Okay. Can you talk? No, you can't talk. Okay, let's go here. No talk here either. Okay. <coughs> huh? Oh, it's a Vesti. <laughs> they look funny. Wait, I just want to check something. Uh, what? Yeah, just go there. Wait. Just want to go there. Okay, can't talk. Okay. Wait. And then here. Okay. And then. Yeah, there we go, like that. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to talk. Oh, yeah. The Vessies are here. That bat there, it doesn't seem inclined to attack. Does anyone know, do you want to hear this strange sound? Is that a signal? This sounds oddly familiar. <clears throat> There's a high-pitched noise coming just from the direction of the baton. <laughs> what is a baton? <laughs> the baton question. Ah, baton, my favorite animal. <laughs> Further investigation concludes the sound is originating directly from the small creature. Hey, Vesper, it's staring right at you. It's definitely making that noise at you, but I don't understand what it could be trying to say. The bat flies towards Vesper, accepting the offer to land on his arm. Almost immediately, the cry evolves into... <laughs> you sound just like my Vestis. 
<laughs> yes, we all know the face he hates us. <laughs> oh, that's why it sounds so familiar to me. But it's not a vesti, right, Vesper? I'll be honest, I don't recognize it. It's not one of my vesti, but it feels like one, huh? Well, whatever it is, it seems it wants to stay with you. What do you think? Should we take it with us? The bat flaps its tiny wings, abandoning the scholar's arm to relocate atop Vesper's hair. It soon settled itself, like it doesn't intend on leaving. Anytime soon. I, I don't think I'm the one to make those decisions. I'm just a little guy. I'm just a little guy. And I already made up my... It's mine. I don't want to think that he... I hate it. Here <laughs> comes a bat. Let's go. Alright. Do I have it equipped? No. I can't check. Um... Yes, let's do that. Oh, the single the single spear doesn't have range. Um go here. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Come on, one shot. Yeah, let's go. Nice uh. Alright, Shinri. Uh why are they taking damage? It's so strange. Dodge it! Dodge it! Oof, no dodge. Ooh, 60! Hmm. Okay. I don't want a boar to come at me. I want... The chess here. But Shinri is really slow for some reason. I guess having too much muscle. Oh my god, both of them are so slow. Come on! Oh yeah, let's go. Level up. We had somehow to nerf Shinri. Interesting. What just happened? I was not looking. Did they attack me? All right, 15, let's go. All right, let's go. Oh no, the boar's here. I don't want to fight the boar. Okay, let's go here. Let's check. Three question marks. I give up. Oh, I see. I can do this. Um, what was I writing for? Leader has to snap me back into more attention more often. He keeps saying that the power of this place is fun giving to him what he wanted from the start. He said it soon. It is time he can take control. Whatever the heck that meant. Leaving here doesn't mean doesn't matter to me at all. I can remain close to the stars here. Ha! Get it? The leader granted me what I wanted after I told him about how I felt. Connecting to this cavern. He pierced a... He pierced a piece of the crystal into me. He is making me part of his power too. He said. This way we can always be of use to him together it gives him comfort and me as well okay
Wait, what is that? Oh, it's nothing. Wait. There's something. Oh, hell no! Okay, okay, okay. The boar is kind of tough, so we can just, like, continue running away. Oh, I'm healing slowly. Interesting. There's something here. In the corner. I'm gonna investigate as Akka is going for the chest. Energy pack, okay. Okay. Huh? What have I done? What have I done? I'm clicking on... Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I remove... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Vesper, go here. Aha! There was something! You found a fragment of... The fragment appeared in Shinri's inventory. How does that... Okay. Man, does that mean I missed something on the first map? Oh, let's go. Plus 25. I did. Shit. I didn't realize there was something on the floor there. Ah, uh, you guys didn't see it either? <laughs> it's the power of uh, the QA, the QA eyes. I feel bad that I didn't see it in the first map. Empty. Wow. Talisman. Okay. Oh, this one's already taken, so that's not helpful. Okay, and I think with Akka, I want to check the door. It took damage again. I think. Nice, empty. Nice, empty. Huh? Something echo in this. I want to know how I drag. Oh, it's just with. Okay, the arrows. Obey, oh, tabarnak. Yo, they're making me work hard here. Don't kill it. Don't kill it. Oh, my God. Yo, the challenge in this map. Uh-oh. He's going to attack Shinri, and then he's going to die, and then that's going to be the end. I just want to see something. Oh, I can check it. Hello. There's nothing here. But if you gather the sixth flame, you will be able to challenge the maker. Huh? Oh, perfect. Don't attack. Excellent. Excellent. Ah, oh, perfect. Perfect. I'm going to have time to get to the chest now. Wait, let me see. Yes, more secret, apparently. No, no. Man, this is tedious. 
But I want a chest. Almost there. All right. Crystal record. Nice. Okay. No, stop. Okay. Time to... Uh... Wait, I could have range. Ooh. Mm. Oh, wow. That's a lot of range. When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. Let's not sniff the void, okay? That's weird. Um... I want to get as much XP as possible. So I'm gonna tome this here. All right. Oh no, it's gonna kill it. It's okay. Ah, man, that was a lot of work to get that chest. There they go. I don't think they'll be coming back anytime soon. But wait, does that mean that the chapter are replayable? We won! Take that, you! Hakaf taunts the dead boar with a conservative amount of cursing in both Spanish and English. Ha! <laughs> there he goes. I guess... That means you're right then. At Vesper Query, Hacker calms down, turning to face him in Shinri. As he opened his mouth to answer, however, he wins and robs at his right arm. Mm, yeah, I'm all right. Just a little sore, I think. Shinri observed the movement and he shares a glance with Vesper. Despite the mutual concern, neither comments on it. That's good. Well, before you found us, we were trying to figure out how to find the rest of the guild. Did you hatch any ideas? Uh, maybe? Uh, I don't know if you two still have yours? Vesper fishes around his coat pocket before producing something holding it up. Huh? But I still have my guild communicator. Oh, that's a thing? Wow, really? Nice. I totally don't have mine. I think I dropped it out of my pocket when I fell. And mine's definitely a goner after I land on it. Luckily, you save yours. Well, don't say lucky yet. I still don't know if it works. He fiddles around it uh, for a bit. Eventually, a low static emits from it. Hello, Gil Tempest? Is anyone out there? This is Vesper speaking. Over. Remind me of uh, Shinri and Battle in uh, We Were Here. Oh my god, that was funny. They fall silent, listening. But there's only static. Uh, maybe they just lost or bro broke their communicators too? Vesper pulls a face, bro furring as he bit bites his lip. Maybe? Uh, but it seems unlikely. I'm the only one whose communicators survive. No, I think it's connection issue. This abyss is a dead zone, even if they're down here. They couldn't hear us anyway. A heavy quiet settles around them, each mulling in their own thoughts. Vesper turns the communicator off, tucking it back in his pocket. That seems to break the spell of silence, and Shinri clears a stroll. Better get moving. We shouldn't hang around too long in case the giant boars or cake come knocking. Then he gives them a reassuring smile. They'll be okay, guys. They're resourceful. Let's just hope for their safety. And that's and that we see them again soon. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, let's go. 
hoping to reunite, reunite with their guildmates safe and sound. The tree dwelf, delf, delf, dwelf, delf back into the unknown. Unbest known to them, hidden in the dark, something watches them go. Something with bright eyes and a black heart. Act of N2. All right. Let's save. Act 3. Writer Draco. Conversation Writer Draco. And the artist is... Nanshara Kanji. And then that's the... Kaka? Unsure. Fading in and out of consciousness, Axel struggles to awaken. What, happier, what appears to be an unfamiliar voice echoes. Little buddy. Just hang on, little buddy. Who? Please be safe. I'll find you again, I promise. Huh? Where? After struggling with his aching body that yearns for more rest, Axel comes to. Standing up slowly, he looks around where he had fallen. Axel had landed on a ridge overlooking an underground lake. Below him, crystals shine through the completely still and clear water. At the bottom of the lake is a gravely shore littered with several... Alligators? Several alligators dot the shore beneath where Axel has landed. <laughs> That's a funny image. A few have turned their their heads toward Axel, but make no attempts to climb up and make him their meal. I'm really happy that the OP guy is with the uh the failure guy. <laughs> In the distance, a voice more familiar than the previous one echoes. Axel strains his ears. Buddy, where are you? Betsy! Phantom! Where are you, buddy? Sup? Axel, you're here. Have you seen Phantom? No, I have not. Are you sure? Bro, I walked out, I walk about halfway around this lake and I haven't seen him. Just some alley. All right. If he wasn't on your half of the lake, he hasn't been on my half. I I'm going to guess he hasn't found anyone else. No point sticking around. Those scally shit might be after us. Having made it past the land bridge, Axel and Battle venture into the cave system. Not, a lo not long after entering, the pair come to a fork in the path. Shoot! A fork in the path. The cave's been twisting for a bit. I think we might be into some kind of maze. No sweat. Me and Shinri have master mazes at this point. <laughs> Reference to what I was talking about earlier. Apparently, Bello is strong if you play him in a certain way. Huh? Interesting. After a few seconds, Bella runs back to the junction. Dead end. Yeah, I can see it from here. All right, then. Right it is. At least we don't have colored items. <laughs> once again, Bella charges. This time to the right path. And once again, Bella returns. Also a dead end. I thought so. There's a draft coming from the left here. 
All right then, follow my lead. Uh, uh, hold on. Something smells like bowl. Don't tell me. Is that an accident auto? <laughs> Really, Hellsong? Either way, I need to play some part of the game again. Eh. Alright, let's save. Whoop! Oh, <gasps> did I? Well, we're just gonna skip it. I literally misclick. Click, click. This is why I love systems that ask you, are you sure? <laughs> okay, there is an escape button. That was so fast. Did you guys see that? Okay, let's save. Click, click. Thank God I save a lot, though. P to skip. Okay, I'll remember that. Now, I want to check something. Okay, so the supporter go here. Interesting. So I imagine, okay. Okay, so they're automatic. Yeah, sometimes I'm like that too, Uri. Sometimes I'm like that too. Whoa, 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 whoa. F no, status? Like, for example, do I need to equip it or is just like having it? I think there's no equip, right? Only for Shinri. Okay. I see. I see. The single beer is uh, not only for someone. I could give a single beer, a spear to someone if I wanted to. But I don't think it's a really strong a um, item. So. However, Axel doesn't have any... Let's trade. Oops. Trade you and you. There we go. I don't want to use a crystal now for some reason. Or maybe... Maybe I could? Wait. No? Ah. Oh, and it gives XP too. Okay. I see. Well, I'm going to give it to the people who found them. What is the talisman again? Oh, it's only for Aka. Perfect. Alright. Okay, so here. Let's save. Put it here. Now here, <laughs> yeah, it's black and yellow. Perfect. So here, what I want, ah, uh, this is the bus gator. Okay. He's kind of far, so I can just go up and grab the chest. Okay. Let's fight. Shoot, more gators coming from behind us. Ah, where did they come from? 
They're probably the one that were sniffing at my feet when I was out. Y'all need to get on my ass for real. How are we going to get out through this? Slowly, picking off the other gator in front of us while fighting back the other gator behind us. Just stay close and we'll get through this. Man, if only we had help. Escape or defeat? Pah! I don't escape. Compared to the rest of the Guild Tempest, Battle Stats leave much to be desired! <laughs> wow, even the game is telling me. <laughs> Listen, we can all be caked up and have big pecs or giant mechas? But Battle does have a special ability. Drying, moving, ne uh, hmm? Try moving Betel next to Axel and to perform. Perform like a magic trick? I've got plenty of those, but what will that do? Oh yeah, let's go. Hey, Axel, watch this. Betel stick his hand inside his hat. Ta-da! Betel pulls out a receipt from the grocery store. Wait, that's not... Suddenly, an obscene amount of tomatoes fall out... <laughs> of the sleeve of the opposite arm. Damn, Betsy. You always impressed with your uh, with your trick, huh? All right, then. My turn to do something cool. Axel can take another action. Battle Perform's ability allows another member to Guild Tempest to move and take another action in the same turn. Use this ability to move slower member faster or for stronger member to take down more enemies. Ah, perfect combo. Oh, and we can talk? Okay, let's talk. Uh. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, my ass is still sore. How are you holding up, Betsy? Me? Just dandy. Bounce of some slime and manage to roll away before they knew what hit them. God, you really are the lucky one. <laughs> it gave him luck. That's nice. Most conversations will unlock after completing certain objective. Oh, that's interesting. There are... Tip ah, there's like a mechanic for talking. Important to foster a relationship between your fellow guildmate. Always keep them close together. And if you're facing tough opponent, talk to each other. Updated on conversation boost. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna talk to my axolotls. All right. Who's next? You? Whoa, whoa! Slow down there. I don't think this little guy is with the other. Hey there, little fella. What's a guy like you doing? <sighs> ha! He's pat at me. Feisty little guy, ain't he? Let me give it a shot. There's no way. Why? No, 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 no. Insult. Where is insult? We all know that if it was Axel interacting with an Axolotl, option would be insult, bully, and gaslight. <laughs> um, let's say be playful. Axel grabbed the lizard by the tail. Okay, and start tossing it. That's kind of bullying. That's kind of bullying. The lizard seems to be having fun. That's it. Ooh, the dodge and the kill. Ooh, the dodge and the crit! <laughs> oh, shit! Easy game. Dodge? Nah, with... Oh, so little damage. Oh, my God. Axel is cracked. How does it work? The... Talk? I can talk again? Can I... Can I interact with the Axel? I don't know.
Let's talk more, I guess. These things are huge! How long do you think they are? I'd say 3 meters, give or take. How's that? How's that in feet? Like 10 feet, maybe? Huh. Seems like they got like 4 feet on them. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Bella. Okay, it's not be played for. Maybe inspire? Axel offer impatient and expletive fill encouragement. They does seem amused by the fan's funny word. What? Yo, Axel Auto, we don't have all day. Can I talk again? No, but I'm gonna go get the chest there. What? There's an item on the other side. I don't know how to get there. How do we get there? Oh shit! I have to take all the long way? Oh my god. I guess Axel is just gonna go and do that. Alright, I guess we're sure this time? Axel caresses the lizard with a gentle but firm hand. Easy now. Must be rough living down here. But we're not from around here, so you don't have to worry about me. The lizard relaxed to Axel's touch, rubbing up against his palm. Ah, oh, that's a good little guy. Look at that. He likes you. I think he likes you. Ah, this little guy had it tough. Being surrounded by big muffos bigger than him. Seems like he wants to hang out with the strongest one. All right, he can stick by us if you want. All right. There's a shit ton. Healing potion. Uh, well, I guess I need to go get the item down there, so I'm just gonna start attacking. Wait, it, it's... Nah, it's fine, it's fine. Ooh! Dude, where are you going? Back... <laughs> Back down the bridge. Think about it. If alligators manage to make their way down here, then surely other stuff might have fallen down here too. Yeah, exactly. We have to get to the exit. We have no idea how many will come. And we'll keep messing them up. Messing them up as they come. Just back me up, Betsy. We'll be fine. If we only we had some help. Oof. No dodge on this one. Okay. Well, I'm glad that I gave him a healing uh, potion. Come on, dodge. There we go. Well, I have to get to the item, so... Uh... What? Why did I take damage? I'm real glad these glowing crystals are here. Maybe you, w you might want to stay away from them, though. What? Why? Why don't you feel weird being near one? Like you can't hold your weapon right, or your legs feel heavier. I don't want to use... <laughs> He's going to be so mad if I make him eat that. Well, you can't make a little guy... Like a light, huh? You can't make a guy like me any weaker, can you? Nah, don't say that now, man. Oh, corruption. But wait, was I? Okay, I need to use an healing potion for sure. Matt. 
it, oh shit, that's it, that's my turn? Oh, I'm screwed. How am I gonna... You better dodge. Thank God. You better dodge everything. Okay, three damage, not too, too bad. Yeah, I haven't noticed at all the crystal on the floor. But, I mean, I see them, but I didn't think. All right, all right. Oh, those little thing, yeah? Uh, I see them now. Shit, man. All right, Beto, you're continuing. Nice dodge. Nice dodge. <laughs> you guys really want me to make him hate uh, the dog treat, huh? Oh shit, this one didn't die. Uh oh. I hope this one dies. This is gonna be in my way. Oh shit, it didn't. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, thank God it cannot kill me. Huh? All right, then I'm doing it. <laughs> those biscuits were pretty good. Are those one... Are those the one in those bacon smelling box we get at the guild every now and then again? Yep, every month. Phantom loves them. Oh shit! I uh, apparently control skip stuff. I have to go outside of game to use control. Not like I have some... <laughs> okay, we have to read here. <laughs> Do not press control if you don't want to skip, okay? So they're dog treats. You fed me dog treats. Yep. You know I'm not a dog, right? Listen. This is the best healing we're gonna get down here until we find the others. Strange. There doesn't seem to be any more reinforcement coming. Huh? Axel, I think I know why. What is that? Some kind of boss alligator? You ready, Betsy? We're gonna mess this guy up. Become the new boss of this lake. <laughs> I want to go home. Okay, I got a buff. I... Ah, it might be bad. It might be really bad. I'm gonna go check the chest here. Top hat, perfect. Please dodge, please dodge. I don't wanna die. Oh, thank God. Please dodge, please dodge. Oof. Uh oh. Uh oh. Dodge, 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 dodge. Woo! Dodge. Oh! <laughs> dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh! <laughs> Man, am I glad I gave him? Uh oh, Bit Bitsy's in danger now. Okay, 23. Maybe I can make it. I just need to go up here, just just for this. I like how it's not even appearing as something. You just have to see it. T 
Tartarus. Tartarus? Is this Persona now? <laughs> Time. I don't think this place experiences it anymore. I feel no hunger, thirst, or pain. The memories of my companions are fading. I know I had some. Just what did they look like? I've wandered the caverns. I don't know how many times to find their crystal form and shape their feature. But the statue keeps kept growing. And those are now just blobs of blue light. They have replaced the stars from outside. It seems leader assimilating to this dungeon in a way. He, st he stares at the crystal as they morph with his gaze. He's recreated our home images of our friend and supplies me with material to draw and write. He says I should try to keep myself together for a bit longer. I don't understand. Why can't I just die? Why can't I just escape the forever burning crystalline light? Why? 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 Why won't this dungeon just finally claim me too? Leader is the only... <laughs> the only one thing tying me... Uh, only one tying me together. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Oh, baby. Don't kill it. You can't kill it now. At least the boss is going away. I'm gonna use my item again. I, I I just like I don't wanna live dangerously anymore. Okay. Oh shit. Oh Betsy, you're in the deep, deep trouble here. Axel, get this item and kill the boss. We need to get out of here. Wait, is the boss running away? Uh oh. Oh we're so messed up. Oh, man. Why did I lose HP again? What? Oh, whatever. Oh, no. Am I gonna die? Man, I'm glad I didn't play uh, on hard. Check. Found a fragment of mm -mm 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 -mm. Axel inventory. Exiled Prince Crown. Hey, I've seen this before. Oh yeah, let's go. Full heal, baby. You know what? I think. Oh, I can't save the ring. Okay. What does it do, though? I can check here. It's fine. Uh, Betsy, what do you do? You hide and you cry? You hide and you cry, okay. Oh boy. Huh? Oh, nice dodge. Okay, if I just do nothing, right? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We got this. We got this. Ooh, baby, let's go. All right, let's send a bomb over there. Okay, okay. Oh, here comes the boss. Okay, now you can kill it. Let's go. Perfect timing. Oh, we got the mask. <laughs> oh, man, I'm happy. I thought I would be... That, that was a great level of difficulty, by the way. If I was playing this on hard, I don't think... <laughs> I don't know how hard is hard, but I feel like... Jesus Fucking Christ! 
We did it, boys! This lake belongs to us now! I need... I need a minute. That's definitely not hard game strat, to be honest. The lizard scurry, scurries up Axel, bouncing and licking him on the cheek. Okay. Uh, okay, little buddy. Uh, we're alive, thanks to you. Thank you. Oh, I want to go home. We, we, we will just, just lay down, have a dog treat. I wonder what happened if you don't eat the dog treat there and you eat it later. Like, it kind of like triggered an, uh, a scene in this act. I wonder what happened if you don't take it. If there are enemies that powerful down here, we have to meet up with the other ASAP. And Phantom, we have to save him. Well, looks like he recovered. You're the new boss of this cave, little buddy. You won't have anyone messing with you again. See ya. What do you mean, see ya? What's up? You want to come with? The lizard hops up and down. All right, then, little buddy. With you and me, we'll be unstoppable. That was a, that was a fun act. Not gonna lie. That was a really fun act. I liked it a lot. Act four. Oh, no, that's interesting. Now, you're, I'm, I'm about to give you a very unuseful feedback. I'm sorry. There is this thing that I'm obsessed with while I am a QA, especially on paid project where, like, you know, it has to be the tip-top quality. Consistency. It's the first time that an act text appear on a non uh, black screen unless there's like a reason for it I'm wondering we'll see act four writer Felix again and Quico I've seen this name before Quico and Felix wrote the conversation all right and the artist is Abby 7279 all right The soft light of the crystal act like a soft guide up the strange cave, the strange cave system. Altair and Magni still have no idea what's going on, where they are, and what purpose this strange place serves. Ah, I see, I see. Still, finding their teammates is their highest priority. Despite their latest slime friend, they found a few hours ago. Carrying the slime on his arm, Alter's in high spirit, while Magni can't stop thinking about this place. Uh, tell me, Altair. Doesn't this little guy here looks awfully like your adventure of the, at the guild? It's attached to you like glue. It feels different, though. My adventure feels like a bit warmer. And their squishiness is also different. Eh, uh, there's a difference between squishiness, really? Why am I not surprised that you of all people know of everything about slimes? Altair laugh, making the slime wiggle in his arm. Then they both fall quiet as they hear strange noises. Generally, the SRPG studio has almost no documentation online. Happy I had to basically dissect the maker. Step by step. Uh, all right. I see. Did you hear that? Yep. Loud and clear. Sounds awfully like those owls or goblin near a gal. Sometimes you can hear them passing us. Shh! Magni shushes. His guild leader. Shushes is a funny verb. Press, pressing his finger against his slip. Just then, three goblin passed by without noticing them. Phew, that was close. 
too close for my taste. Tell me about it. I'm sick of this dungeon, man. Magni peeks after the goblins, noticing something about them. Hey, Altair. Hmm? What is it, Des? I got to witness Felix and Happy have breakdown after breakdown. Yikes! <laughs> you good? You you good, buddy? <laughs> Give me a sec. I need to change something uh, around me. I, I, uh, it's going to take like a minute. I'll be back. Not even. 30 seconds. All right, that's it. Hey, Lori, that's shy. Hello, hello. Hope you're having fun. Yeah, it's pretty fun. We just did a really funny uh, act, actually, with uh, Bedel and Axel. Programming part of the team is the miserable, miserable guy. Hmm. Miserable. <laughs> hey, but the game is out. That's the most important part, guys. All right. Those goblin dares. They have the same crystal on their bodies as the one on the walls. Do they? They look familiar. And they also look weirdly corrupted. Staticky. Yeah. Just like on the floor where we found Squishy. Squishy is the name <laughs> of the slime. All right. Speaking of him, he seems to be unaffected by them. Any clue on how that might be possible? Magni, look <clears throat> Magni looks first at the slime, then back at the goblins, who are screeching at each other. After a moment of thought, the alchemist shake his head. Can't tell you that, bud. This whole dungeon here is a mystery to me. There are so many puzzle pieces that don't fit together, no matter how I twist and turn them. Altair looks down at his slime companion, then looks at the alchemist for, with a frown. I know that face, and my answer is no. Huh? I didn't even say anything. You started at you stared at those crystal on the wall. You won't touch them and you won't definitely won't take them with you, got it? Hey, get out of my head, Altair. Shh, be quiet, Des. Altair presses his finger over his lips, shushing his friend. I want to cause as little ruckus as possible. Who knows what monsters might live here? Besides, when I had to drag your ass away from those crystal, my armor reacted. I'm worried for our guildmates, and I'm gonna do everything I can to bring us all together again. And all together again and out of here. Until then, we stick together, all right, Des? And when you find something strange, you tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it out there. The alchemist huffs, taking off his vambrace to itch his arm. You motherfucker. He stops still for a few moments as he observes his revealed skin. The skin has turned blue, with crystal that grow in a matter of similar to the scale of a dragon. When he pokes it with his finger, the crystallized skin feels oddly rough. The alchemist swallows, clenching his teeth so that uneasy feeling in his stomach wasn't for nothing. When Altair pipes up, his first instinct is to replace the Vembrace, acting natural. Casual. Des, you good? Yep, 
Everything's good, don't worry. Just a bit fired, just a bit tired, that's all. Talking about tired, gonna be uh, an hydration check. All right, let's do this. <sighs> Magni is half expecting to be caught in his lie, but Altair doesn't seem to catch it. Much to his relief. He doesn't need to burden Altair with more worries right now. Those crystal on his skin can wait. Ah, oh, for sure. Oh, for sure it can wait and then you die, you big idiot. Another group of five goblins walk past them, carrying something red over their shoulder. Altair frown. Does it like awfully familiar to you? Uh, that's Flayon. It's one of his control panel. But where's Flayon? The guild leader carefully ventured forward, his comrade following close behind. As they follow the group, they see a makeshift camp. Houses built from all kinds of material. Rocks from the wall, some dead wood, some skeleton. And now, one of Flayan's panel, which becomes a makeshift roof. Where did they find that? Maybe we can capture one alive and force it to talk. I have ways to do that. Just as the hero turns to Magni, he's distracted by a larger crystal at the camp. Together, they dare to venture a bit closer, trying to get a good glimpse of that crystal. Holy crap! That's a huge one! I wonder what made it so huge, huh? Altair observed something unique at the foot of the crystal, pointing at it. Oh, hi. There's someone there. A human. Wait, that's Flayon. Flayon is here at this camp? Shoot. That is him. They must have found him and dragged him here. It is indeed Flayon who rests on the ground, his wrist tied behind his back, and his eye closed. He has a few bruises on his head. Altair can tell if it's from the fall or the goblin. But he knows that he has to act quickly. Who knows how long Flayon has been near that giant crystal. What if it's dangerous? Grabbing Magni by the wrist, he marches forward. Let's go, Dez. We need to get him out quick. No, no time for plan. We can't handle this. Quick today, eh? Sounds like fun to me. Let's get him out of here. No, I cannot go quick. There are treasures. All right, I'm gonna save over. Hmm. Wait. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's manage. Healing potion. Uh. Healing potion. We're good. Let's fight. Okay. Reach Flayon or defeat all enemy. Flayon is defeated. Uh oh. Flayon's over he over there. We have to reach him before something happens to him. Looks like we should be able to break through their defense and get him out. If we're careful, that is. Our position on the battlefield matters. If we're careless, we could e easily be overpowered by numbers. Good cow. There's only two of us. Goblins are usually not that big of an issue, but their strength comes in number. So let's stick together and get playing on out. Okay, well first thing first, I need to locate... Ah, it's here. Okay. So it's close to Fleon. I can't select Fleon. Okay. So we're gonna go. There's nothing down there. Nothing of interest. Hey, tomorrow, it is I. All right, gun saber. 
Oh, he didn't die. There we go. Nice level up. Four? I can take it. Oh, I can talk. Can he talk? He can too. Okay. It's okay. I'll do it when uh, we have like a turn to lose. I've got a couple more people to murder, so. Alright, it's time for murder. Oh, easy! Nice. Nice. Level up two. All right. No dodge. One shot. Let's go. Next update, we're adding in sprites for Fleons that just him. The family guy dead pose. <laughs> Wait. Um. I'm fearing a little bit for Magni here alone, but. Oh. Got dodge. Uh oh. Ooh, baby. Okay. Uh. I think we're gonna talk. No, I can't talk. We need to heal. Okay. At, at least Altair is much stronger. All right. Check. Tartarus Expedition, day 235. We reach the end of the dungeon. Does we still apply when there are only two people? <laughs> Leader and I figured out the puzzle only yesterday. It took us this long and we lost everyone. Our guildmates, our friends, we were taken over by the crystal. They all became a part of the dungeon. The shiny tomb for real now. We are the only two left. The rooms with crystal spawners contain the clues to open the path to the ending. Why didn't we find them months ago? Why did this place have to take them first? Leader feels unsure of the answer. The pattern was obvious after looking around a bit. After finding the boss room, we lock the mechanism that shift the caverns. No more do they change. Now we will not get lost in trap. Or so we thought. There was no boss. Only another empty cavern with crystal tinkling, sparkling, and emitting light. The end had no exit back to the surface. Nor any indication of rappling equipment we had left behind. To kiss this cursed place goodbye. Just nothing. A blank wall locked in. Well, at least I don't feel hunger anymore. Huh. No damage. Oh, get wrecked. Oof. OP, OP. Okay. Uh, let's go here. This is bad. We can't reach Leon. There's just too many. Unlike you, I can't do this all day. Maybe you, but not Leon. What can we do to, to help him? Oh. Oh, hey, here's some help. Here they are. 
I knew I heard those glass bottle from somewhere. I can't believe you heard that from all the way across, but I'm glad you did. Hey, you two, how's it going? You kind of look like in trouble. Hey, guys, what are you doing here? Wait, is that Flayon over there? It is him. Let's go. We have no time to waste. Let's meet with Altair and Magni first, and then get Flayon out of here. Out of that place, all right. We've got a couple more people to murder, so. All right, keep on murdering, leader. Let's go. Easy. Now, now though, I'm I'm stealing all the XP. Oh, I can talk, but I need to kill. All right. Wait, the enemy, the enemy was able to go there, but not me. Huh? Okay, fair. Um, maybe I do want to talk now. Let's just talk. Uh, you know what? No, I need to get closer to these. Who let Shinri the Alex Pride look that hot? Uh, Felix, you can maybe say who? <laughs> I don't want to attack. I'm stealing all the XP. I've got a couple more people to murder, so. Mamma me? Hello, Rocky. That's shy. That's shy. All right, I can go here. Attack. Nice. Nice job, Vesti. Vespi. No talking. Oh, I see. It's written what they do. Healing crystal. Huh. I see. I see. I just noticed this. Oh. Why did he go in the chest? Oof, he's dead. I like how I could go just get... Antenna Tail. And they're... Oh, shit. No. I killed all the enemy. Guys, hell no. Wait. No, no, no. I'm skipping. I'm skipping. I don't want that. I'm going to save, but I don't want that. No, stop. Stop. Stop the story. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. Don't look. Don't look at the images. Why is there so many images? Guys, why is there so much story? Load. Okay, you didn't see anything. Okay. I forgot that killing all the enemies would... Um... They said P earlier. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Bro, I'm in... Com Yo, listen. It's a challenge. Okay, how do I do this, though? I literally need to, like, avoid them. There's no how. I need to go down. And then go up. Ignore Fleon. Come back. 
No, no. I need I need this guy to not come forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know, I know. Yeah, but I think the the um, I could also just not kill them and let the counter maybe work. Ah, uh, I did move Haka, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to I'm going to look at the range now. Yeah, Magni needs some level, that's for sure, huh? Maybe, maybe I should just attack. And get the... Get the kill. Oh, very nice. Wait, I can speak now. But... Yeah, let's talk, okay. Ah, oh, he'll pay for that. Hey there, Dez. Look that pretty painful. Oh yeah? No kidding. Ouch! Hand me that potion I dropped. Man, he's so rude. Yeah, yeah, I know, Altair. I'll be more careful from now on. Man, Magni, so rude. Easy. Hey, literally just finished the game. Hey, me version, you let's die. Thank you, thank you. I'm being a little bit of a completionist here. Just restarting this mission just to get the item. What? I. It does. Oh my god, get good, you s You silly Alchemist, get good. Alright, you better kill it. Yo! What? Magni, why do you suck? He's dead. We've got a couple more people to murder, so. Gotta pay attention to those accuracy. It's okay, I'm uh I'm a safe scummer. It's okay, guys. I got this. Tell your mom I'm gonna be a little late tonight. <laughs> it's the first time we hear it, actually. Tell your mom I'm gonna be late tonight. That was pretty funny. <laughs> Man, out there is so OP. And it, and this 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 one sounds really clear. Some of the other voices are a bit hurt, a bit hard to hear. I feel, but I felt. Wait, wait, Magni, go first. And if he whiff. I can finish him with Altair. There we go. Man, Altair is so OP, it's kind of stupid. Okay, go read. Oh, I forgot to talk this time.
Oh, man. Please, please survive. Nine. No. Bro! Magni, why do you suck so much? What? Okay, I need... Magni, you're staying behind. That's what you're doing. Yeah, he is a glass cannon after all. Yeah, tell your mom you're gonna be late tonight, Magni. Okay, go here, talk. There we go. Sorry about that. Got a couple more people to murder. Meanwhile, I have Altair with the zero damage. Got a couple more people to murder. So. Look at this! Look at this man, just carrying hard. Unbelievable. Now I have to protect him too. No, no, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use a special concoction. Oh my god, Senor Jesus No, don't die. And I thought battle was bad. How long? How many? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. He's gonna stay in the back and he's, he's not gonna move from there. That's it. That's it. Sorry. Sorry, my boy. I don't want him to die. I know I could just continue, but I'm I'm like that kind of person. He want to be dead so bad. It's just like he wants to... Uh, I'm not going to say it. Am I saying it? Am I saying it? Am I saying it? I can't say it. Can I say it? I'm saying it. Just like he wants to... Ah! I said it. You've got a couple more people to murder, so. Yeah, yeah, I know. Just murder everything. Okay, just talk. Oh, we already. Wait, have we not? Wait, did I find a bug? Wait, have we talked? Confusion. Is there something that I'm missing here? No, that's not what I want. Occurs under certain condition. Yeah, but what are they? Oh, I need to take damage? How do I trigger their uh, distance? Oh, so he needs to get hurt. Wait, um, I'm missing. I'm missing on how to. He has. He died too many times. Doesn't want to talk. Why am I? Okay, there we go. Now it worked. I don't know why it didn't earlier. Got a couple more 
annoy people to make it. He doesn't want to talk about it. He's got a couple more people to make it. It's crazy on how... No, but I think I'm OP because... Because I did most of the killing. Ah, uh, yes. There we go. Now I took damage. I didn't actually took damage, but... There we go. Okay, I can take one enemy damage. Now, now you dodge. Now you dodge. I hate you. All right, at least I got to level up with Magni. Uh, I don't mind if they attack me. Okay, now I'm going to stay. You've got a couple more people to murder, so. All right, murder, murder. Now I'm not moving. I'm not moving up there. And then... And I guess Magni could maybe go get like the special item while I'm busy murdering everyone here. There we go. You've got a couple more people than me. Easy. You've got a couple more people than me. So OP, crazy. All right, we're just gonna slowly, slowly get some chest here. Magni's gonna go up there. Yeah, 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 that's what I realized. I just have to not move from there. And they're not gonna come. Then I go here, I wait. Go here, open the chest. Wait, 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 easy. Get that. Fragment of... Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Fleon's inventory. Abandoned automaton, oh, automaton part. You guys, this is definitely from Doppelganger. <laughs> Ponderous orb. <laughs> I remember that. Where, where was that from? I remember that for sure. And I feel it's... E it's more it happened more often to clear the dungeon by killing everything so i want to clear the dungeon by saving fleon ah uh, it does exactly the same text whoops oh well yeah, yeah it's vesper pondering the orb right Yeah, get the hell out of here from Fleon! You couldn't have arrived a minute later. That was looking pretty bad for us. No, you were the only one looking bad, Mr. Great Magnetisman. God damn it. Let me grab Fleon. Are you two okay? That looked tense. I think we did pretty well, but that was a lot of goblins. Thanks for showing up. I'm just glad we got here on time. You did, uh, and these three did nothing in the corner. So, how's Leon? Will he be okay? I was able to heal most of his damage. He's a tough guy. He'll be, oh. Just that in that moment, Fleon's opened his eyes in Shinner's arm. Hmm? Uh? 
Good morning, sunshine. Rise and shine. Hey there, buddy. What happened to you? Confused, Leon looks around after a moment, collecting his memory. He sighs. I, I don't remember much, if I'm honest. It, it's in bits and pieces, fragments. Ah, don't worry too much. You don't have to remember everything now, right? Yeah, you're safe with us. Which means only Bella and Axel are missing. Speaking of them. Uh, speaking of them. You didn't happen to see them on your way, right? Nuh-uh, not even a clue. We fought a bunch of weird boards before we found you by accident. Shinri insisted he heard noises that sounded just like you. How the fuck do we have a signature noise? It's hard to explain. It just... It, it was just pretty Altair and Magni. Magni. Shinri turned his head aside with a chuckle. Ah, now I remember a few things. I I remember I fell. I tried to use my panels, but... Wait, my panels? Where is it? Hastily, Fleon jumps back to his feet, balancing his body with his arm like a duck. Like a duck. <laughs> okay. But then, he finds what he's looking for. My panels! Wait, did the goblin use your panels as a roof for their house? Ah, those are no shingles. They're sturdy shields for combat. What a bunch of dummies. And with that, Vleon running to the houses, tearing them apart like a wild beast. Haka is close behind him, clapping to encourage his comrade. Well, that looks like Vleon's okay. More or less. Mm-hmm. What do we do with out there? What are we looking? Are we looking for Beryl and Axel now? Honestly, I don't really want to go far in without knowing where they are. But they can't be farther down. We woke up at the deepest part. It only ups from here. I see. Have you tried their communications already? We did. But we have literally no signal here. Ah, that's unfortunate. That means we have to find them all by herself, right? Alter nods, looking over his shoulder to observe Fleon as he blows up a goblin's house in pure anger. I hope they're okay. I'm not worried about Axel, but... Ah, uh, don't worry. They'll be fine. Let's just hope they're together and sit tight and we'll find them, okay? Be hopeful. Only two members left, and we can be and we can head out of here. All right, sounds like we're leaving. Time to find Axel and Battle, and hopefully in one piece. But just as Altair is gathering Flayon and Akka, Vesper points to Magni and nods to Shinri. Almost immediately, the alchemist's body language shifts uneasily. Magni, are you okay? Do you want some r ration? You look trouble. Huh? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. I'm fine. Uh, just glad everyone is here now. Don't worry. <laughs> Vesper gives a glance to Shinri, but then just follows behind Haltair. End of Act Four. Ah, uh, we're gonna say we're gonna say that um. We're gonna say that Magni sucks because he's corrupted. <laughs> Act five. Act Fe. Conversation writer writer Zenit Xander. Artist Soulless Sanctuary. Hey, how does it look there's fewer crystal here than there when they were the other's area? It's you again! <laughs> now that you mention it. Yes, I think so. Curious, is there a significant a significance to it, you think? Maybe, but we should think about that later. For now, let's see about finding the rest of the boys, yeah? 
of speeding of curious thing, Phantom was acting pretty strangely when he led us to a tear. You are led here by Phantom? Maybe that means Battle's nearby. Maybe, but we never actually saw him. Phantom found us, led us to you, and then poof, he was gone. But anyway, are you, as you are saying, Shinri, Phantom was acting weird? Yeah, he, um, he seemed weaker. The same way someone might look if they hadn't eaten in days. Well, since the little guy's not here, there's not much we can do without without it right now. That's true. I guess we'll just have to work on finding him again. Hopefully, he'll be better. He'll be with Bettle when we find him. All right, let's keep moving then. The more ground we cover, the more likely we are to find him. Wait, hold up, Des. Your cheek is bleeding. Let me fix that up for you. Huh? Is it? Thanks. No problem, dude. Just try to be more careful in the future, got it? All right, all right, chill out, Vess. One little con on my cheek isn't going to kill me. If left untreated, it very well could. Hmm. Fleon, you all right? Uh, I, uh, yeah, coming. Wait, what's all this? Huh? All of what? This! You got all a little crystal on you! Like the ones around us! Uh, I, I don't know. It won't come off. What? No, wait, that's... That's all there. What? Let me try. You're right, I, I'm not sure. But it feels like may, maybe growing on him? Huh. Uh, Magni? Ah, uh, you too, huh? Hey! Wait, don't... I think you're right, Altair. It appears Magni's been affected by it too. Huh? Des? Damn it! It wasn't your business to tell him, Shinnery. And Magni, I swear, what a dig bag. <laughs> huh? Were you trying to hide it? No, I, I, I was just... No, no, you definitely were. You weren't gonna tell us. That's why. Hey, that's <laughs> I wasn't going to hide it forever. Yeah? Then when were you planning on telling us when you're already turned into a giant rock? Uh, I... No, you should have told us as soon as you noticed, dude. We've got to... Vesper. Oh, oh, that's not good. Vesper Strong, what happened? I was trying to inspect Fleon's crystal problem, but because it was worse than we first thought. Look at how much there is. That, that, that's. Holy shit, there's so much! Another problem rose as soon as I touched it. Your, your fingers. You've been affected now, too. It, yeah, so don't touch it. No amount of healing seems to be affecting it either. So, are you all stuck like this now? I I, I don't know. Uh, for now, we can only hope there's a way to reserve uh, to reverse this. Let's move. Let's find the others as quick as we can, so we, huh? and get you guys to. Uh, hi. Uh, Battle. Let's move. Grrr. Hey! Quit your screaming, yo! Oh, oh I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you want me to just take in my dead by hammer silently? Yeah, yeah, maybe I do. 
Oh, fuck you! Calm your ass down! We're not gonna fucking die, man! How do you... Oh, oh, this is it. This is the end. Mama! Uh, huh? No dad? Axel! Axel, battle. <laughs> when I realize who speak and I... <laughs> Shinry and the rest of y'alls too? You got a good timing. Thanks for the save. G good timing? You call this good timing? Good timing would have been did come earlier. Rather than arguing, how about we get out of here? Hell yeah, bro! I'm tired of and want to out of this place. And let's move, dudes! W wait! F for what? Th that Minotaur. Do you see what's in his hand? I is that. Phantom! We have to save him! Alright. All right, save. Um, actually, whatever. All right, now I want to manage a little bit. I want to see who has potion, who hasn't. Okay, Axel has no potion anymore. But Altair is so OP OP. Wait. Now let's do trade. What does this do? Statuses? You, oh no, use item. Okay, I'm not gonna use the crystal record on Altair because I'm already OPOP. Mm, I need to read some items to see what they do. Um. Maybe I use it on Magni because it was so bad anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Magni. Um, oh, and I have the orb too. Well, I need to give this to uh, to Vesper, obviously. Oh, wait, that's interesting. I can't use the spear. Even if the spear is not only for for him. Interesting. I think the tail goes here. Oop. Yes. And we're trading this with... No, it's not him. Huh? Wait. Yes, it is. <laughs> and the recipe is probably to Magni? Yes. Okay. We're gonna use. Wait, I can use the recipe book? Wait, do I. Huh? Oh, it's a learn skill item. I am so silly. I had copium. This is why Magni sucked. He di didn't take his copium yet. Understandable. So that means... Oh, I'm so silly. I had to use them to... Act. Okay, we got the zoomies now. Well, thank God I'm realizing now... Okay, and and Akka also has stuff. I think the energy pack is here. Whoops. What are my level? I'll check after I'm done trading. I, I don't know by heart. And the T goes to Vesper. And I guess this is also a usable. Yes. Fragment from a twisted world. 
Okay. Yeah, the tea set is for Vesper, for sure. We can ponder the orbs now. Very good. Vest tea. Excellent. Oh, and the hat is also... Oh, it's the hat from... Um... Ah, I see, I see. From Doppelganger. He's really cool in his hat in uh, in that. So, oh, the top hat is an item. Interesting. The energy pack is a skill. Man, I have a lot of skill with uh, Flayon now. Ah, welcome to Shinri becoming extremely broken. Uh-oh. Hey, funny eyes. <laughs> am I missing anything? I don't think I am. Everything else is items. Maybe, maybe I trade. Well, no, that's fine. You can keep it. Uh, let's look at the statuses now. So, this is here. Okay. Shinru is already broken. I'm going to be real. He's broken by the time you leave his starting map. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I want to see. Is it in the convoy? I think it's in the convoy. Yes. I just want to read the item. How did I did that the first time? It's not in statuses. Oh, uh, yay. Wait, wait. It is. Hat trick. Always strike first. Eh, okay. Grants a waiting unit another action. I haven't been able to do this, actually. I don't know why. Um, what else? Power from a twisted or immortal. Immortal? Restore HP every turn. Wow. Okay. Oh, um, Tomorrow was asking me about their level. We're going to save because uh, I missed. I missed a lot. Uh, yeah, manage our units. Ah, I see. You can put them on the field or not. Interesting. Anyway, their level. Level 16, OP. Wow, that's why he's OP. What the hell? Okay, I cannot use... I cannot use... Uh... Regis. He's too strong. I can't. The other needs to take some level here. <laughs> Wait, Altair's level? Jesus Christ! I don't know. I, I'm not sure why. Oh, there's a burb here. Yeah, he's my starter Pokemon. Okay, there's this here. What else? What else? Where's the special item? It's here. And there's a door here. And a door here. And some holes. Okay. Oh, and uh, there's our two clowns here. 
Well, one of them is more than a clan than the other. Oh, that's a lot of HP. Okay, that's fine. Bello pulled out a bag of biscuit. Oh, yeah, let's go. Okay. Heads up, boys. Here they come. Ah. Uh, guys. Akka's looking too good. Isn't looking too good. Devs and Flay don't, don't look much better. We can't stay here much longer. You're right. Here. You three hang out a bit. Let's end the let's rest. No can do, brother. I'm fine, all right? If we're doing this, we're doing this together. Okay. Um... Well, I need to talk to this little dude here. Oh, oh, look at this little friend-shaped bird here. It's picking in the ground like a chicken. A little nugget. Oh, there? Hmm. It seems to be kind of min minding his business. Despite the nearby minotaur li literally going crazy. Sounds like a little friend here must be so hardcore it won't even mind such a scary guy. Haka walks toward the bird, then grabs it between the ha his hand. It doesn't seem to mind at all. Is is it even alive? I I didn't even react to you picking up. Oh wait, that's not Haka speaking. <laughs> it's fine. The bird happily eats the seed. It still it has left in its beak. Then looks up to Akka. Cheerfully, it flaps his tiny wing. Bro, it, lo it has like zero survival skill. No self-preservation whatsoever. Nah, it's just built different. It must be like a true survivor with keen senses, knowing we are no threat to it. Here, look. It's just a little baby. Akka holds it now between his arm like a treasure, making the bird peep joyfully. Well, it doesn't seem to be an anxious. I have my doubts. It will survive on its own. Do you want to take it with you? I want to feel... I would feel so bad to leave it here all alone. Yeah, this one is now one of my Akitos. After all, it comes in in all shapes and color. Hey, let's go against a bird. All right, we're going to try... Play here. 33, very good. Level up, very nice. <clears throat> How to talk to a baby bird 101. One's a clown, the other's Gav is better. <laughs> um, How about this? Get this. Casa at. What? Ah, and let's perform. All right. And then I'm. I want to go to the. I want to check the door. The Hydra Gods three great treasure. One is in a chest, and two are hidden from view. Huh? What does it mean? Can I go in the holes? I feel like... Uh, I was about to say... Yes, I can. Ah, uh, oh, it's fine. Um, why not? Let's go in the hole and see what it does. It does nothing. And Shenry can go for the kill. Oh, yeah, let's go. I like how me is like, huh? I've never done this before. Okay. Uh, there's a tomb there. Let's 
Use the archer's support. Very nice. Nice level up. Wait, hold on. I can go in the tomb, so I'm gonna do that. Alright, not the Kappa. 245 Kappa 54. Tartarus Expedition Day 26. How naive we were to think leaving this shiny tomb was ever going to happen. Forget the damnable Utopian court. They can send someone to come after our hardened corpse for all I care. This was written by Axel. I've only continued to write just to leave something of significant significance behind at this point. Half the gill, my friends, are gone. We ran out of opposing crystal to cure the dungeon crystallization. Was the first, well, to become crystal himself. He kind of just accepted his fate in the end, but not before absolutely losing his mind. I think the acceptance happened because no mind was left actually. He attacked us like one of the dungeon beasts as soon as the crystal spread to his head. His attacks were more powerful than normal too. Like he started, maybe it's not Axel. Axel can't write anyway. Probably cannot read too. Probably not Axel. His attacks were more powerful than normal too. Like he started gaining energy from the dungeon to help him. It was obvious the dungeon had completely claimed him. More so when he weakened to the point of exhaustion, leader made the decision to let him rest when he saw how much was causing to his former friend, Arm. I've never seen such a pain expression come to his face for another person until then. The crystal on... on... Hmm? Uh, on b -b 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 body grew and engulfed him in a crystalline cocoon in the middle of the room. Then, he was just gone. No body, no mind, just gone. There's even more of them. Flay, you doing okay? I'm alright, but... Uh, I could be better, but there's... That's not important. We got our skew battle. We will. But it won't do anyone good if you push yourself. Rely on us if you need to. Magni and Hakka, you guys too. These... These crystals got me walking in a, a, a little funny, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Why do you gotta say it like that? All right, let's shinry this guy. He can read, he just choose not to. <laughs> but there was a hole here. I'm gonna go and we're gonna explore the hole. I'm gonna go behind here, attack. Oh shit! Critical 156. Okay, bro. Um mm. Oh, nice kill, Magni. I did give him the crystal to help him. Um who do I make? Wow, battle moves a Fuck done. Holy moly. Wait. There's a hole here, but I can't reach it right now. I could perform for Vesper. I'm gonna go in the hole. No, nothing. Okay. I'm gonna go here. Gonna get this guy. Oh, the enemy comes out of the hole. Oh, I see. Oh, I can talk? Battle. 
So you guys were here, huh? What happened to you? Are you two are Phantom, Phantom, hang on, I'll save you! You ugly clown! I'm gonna trash you! Oh, not cow! Oh my god! I thought he was. <laughs> I misread that, and it was kind of funny. You ugly cow! I'm gonna trash you! Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Wait, wait. Um. But I want to know about the hidden thing. I'm going to break you myself. Oh, shit. Oh, he's broken, all right. Magni, get in the hole. All right, nice crit. Ah, there's another hole here. Okay. Where is the hidden thing? Ah, well, we're getting this one. Fragment of uh 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 uh. uh. Karasu Demon's Wing. Man, I'm so pissed that I didn't notice it in the first stage. Um. Let's get here. Of course, Magni get attacks. Oh, he dodged. Let's go. Oh, there was no one on this hole. Oh, it's okay. Uh, how about this? No, wait. I'm on a hole right now, right? It doesn't tell me. Oh, I thought this was something. Maybe not? No, it's not. It looks an, like an opening, though. But it's not. Not your 100% completion brain. We, I mean, why do you tell me about, like, hi, like hidden things? Oh, he's so dead. Whew. Nice level up. All right. Oh, I can talk. He's running out of steam just a little bit more. I haven't literally touched him a single time. Huh. It does look like an opening. It should be a pillar thing, though. I don't know. Is it a pillar thing? This one says impassable, but... In fact, oh no, no, this one says that these two are okay. Hmm. Ha, <laughs> Felix is just like, just. Just, just stop talking about it. It's just a bug. All right. Um. So this one is on the hole. Wait, do they push me? I think they do. I was on the hole before. No, no, it's fine. It's not a box of feature. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. There are no bugs. What are you talking about? I'm going to break you myself. All right, break him. Nice. 
Ah non, des dents. Uh, who hasn't moved? Oh, you. Guess we can perform for Shinri. Ha! Huh. Come on, Axel. I am. I. I. I don't know. I just get a weird feeling just now. Weird, like how? You gotta take a dump. Now shut up! Shut your bitch up! <laughs> shut your bitch ass up! Just like, I know this guy, I, like, I used to. Ah, never mind, it's nothing. Let's keep on going. Boom. Ah, there was another hole there. Wait, hold on. <laughs> That's your favorite line? I can feel that somehow. Oh shit. I was already on the hole. Okay. Uh, let's move Shinri. And let's attack here. Very nice. Hey, what's up, Raider? Low battery and his gang. Hello. Welcome. You're a shy, you're a shy. So. I, oh, there's another hole here. Okay, I have a weird... Oh, wait, no, no, don't do that. Right now, I have a weird goal, if you haven't noticed. My plan is to get on all the holes. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice thing to say with the raider coming in. Hello, hello, everyone. Battery overcharged, let's go. <laughs> How are you, low battery? Chance trying to fill all the holes. Yes, the the mm, the holes, guys. Like, like these, these the, the monster monster holes. Yes, the monster holes. Like, what? There's nothing weird in that. Leave no holes uncovered. Exactly. I'm just doing my job here. Okay. Um. So, Axel can move so much. Holy shit. So, I'm thinking... I'm gonna move... Right here. And with battle, I'm gonna go right here. Wait, what? Staff? There we go, I did it. What did it give me? I'm not sure. Do I do I have like some sort of like feeling of achievement? Yeah, I guess. Satisfaction? Yeah. Man, the Minotaur is not even attacking. Alright, bro. Okay, let's see here. 
This seal the attack. Break attack in half. Let's do this. Let's seal him. I'm not sure if it works. He's a good boy. I'm gonna... Just gonna normal attack here. Oof! Oof! No damage! <laughs> what a... What a chat. And then I'm gonna perform. And then I'm gonna go back on the holes. <laughs> and then everyone's waiting. I wish there was a way to just end. Phantom! Phantom, can you hear me? It's gonna be okay. We'll save you, you freak. Let me, let my boy, my, my baby boy go. Dude, this guy's pissed. Don't make him more mad. Uh, that guy is a minotaur. And we, sh we should, and what we should be doing is bracing ourselves. They don't mess around. All right, everybody, get ready. This will be an all-out, full gear attack. Literally persona. No, no, it's not a full gear attack, okay? Everyone is like, stay on their hold. Let's, feel, let's seal his uh, attack again. New secret hole ending. There is, I think you just right click on the field uh. oh yeah I can do N right there I can talk let's talk baby hey did you hear me let phantom go or I'm gonna lose my mind hey yo dude shut up <laughs> what did I just say about making him more mad I don't care He's hurting Phantom. Or are you saying it's too strong for you? Oi, 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 oi. Now you're just trying to piss me off. Also, why does Axel look like a tiny little dude there? Yeah, yeah exactly. Why is he so low? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Axel fell in the hole. We're, we're making we're making secret lore here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I noticed and then I checked chat and you guys also saw it. <laughs> All right. Let's have him uh I'm not going to cover the old because I think I can Ah, uh, can I? No, one more turn, one more turn. The old lore. <laughs> all of the all of the lore. The lore lore hole. Whole lore. <laughs> Stop talking about <laughs> Hey, it's my damn it's your damn fault for putting this design in the game, okay? Boys, fill all the holes! <laughs> Results here from the start to highlight 2024 real. <laughs> oh shit, he's attacking! Oh, I cancelled him. Yo. What? Because I seal his attack? Yo, what? Flay is like OPOP -OP there. Just like, you want to attack me? I don't think so. Anyway, Axel, go for it. Oof! <laughs> oh, that is a very nice scene. Phantom, buddy, you're okay. Oh. Stop that tickles. Ah, <laughs> that's cute. 
Phantom seems way more affectionate than usual. True, but I doubt Bettle's gonna complain about that. Fascinating. Hmm? What's up? Take a look at this. Do you see anything odd? No. What am I supposed to be looking for? Crystallization, like ours and Fleon's. This thing's surely been here for a while, so why... Why isn't it crystalline like us? Exactly. Hmm. What's this now? Found something? I think so. Look at this. Another crystal? Wait, this one's different. Yeah, but look at my fingers. Huh? Your crystallite parts back to normal. Oh, that's what was on the on the grave. The the, the the reverse reverse crystal. This thing can do that? Apparently so. Let's see if I can I can help with yours as well. It's it's working. W what? What's going on over here? L look, Altair. Look at Vesper w found on the Minotaur. It helps get rid of crystallization. Fleon, Flay, come here. Uh, what's up? Something wrong? Hold this. Huh? What? Oh, it's going away. Yeah. Hell yeah. I knew we'd find a way to get rid of this shit. All right. Now that we've solved that problem and saved Phantom, what do you guys say to get out of here and going home? Yippee! Fuck yeah, bro! Let's go! Where's the blood, by the way? I'm waiting for the blood to show up. But I'm still curious on what that door said about the, the Hydra and the two-headed location. Act Sis, Act Rider, Ava Asimar, Conversation Rider, Draco, Artist Son. It promised me blood at the beginning. It was like, oh, oh, oh you sensitive little, uh, like, whippersnapper. Let's go home, my guy. There's still an hour left of gameplay. What a sham, what a sham. The oppressive silence of the cavern stretched for a long time before finally being broken. Oh, there is. All right, let's go. Huh. The foliage here seems pretty familiar to what one fishing village to the south, doesn't it? We should go back there sometime. It was really a neat place. He turned to look behind him at the rest of the group, taking note of their condition. Magni and Flayon were looking a little better, but everyone still appearing quite tired. We could certainly all a little huh? We could certainly all use a little beach vacation. Did you put a goddamn beach episode in a fucking crystal cavern? Nah, they wish. <laughs> Sounds fun. How, how does... I need to... I, wait, wait, I need, I need to summon Vesper's voice in my head. It's like deep, but at the same time not deep. It's, it's like... It's kind of a complex voice. It's like kind of a goofy little voice. Goofy little voice. No, that, that, that. <laughs> deep but bright. I'd call it. Yeah, light and hairy to me. I describe his baritone with distinct, 
rising and falling in inflection. Only somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Goofy impression. <laughs> Gorge. <laughs> Sound fun. We could play in water. Get some sun. Enjoy all the fresh grilled fish. Gorge. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, besties. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Don't bring up food now. You're making me hungry. That's it. I'm talking like Goofy when Vesper's on screen. Gosh! Well, Axel reached out into his pocket and grabbed a granola bar. Wait. The granola bar. I remember that. Flayon gave a soft chuckle. You're always hungry, though. What's the difference? Can I have some, actually? It feels like these crystals are draining all my energy. Axel ended a granola bar to Flayon. He accidentally brushed against the corruption on his hand. You big dingo! Eyes widening in realization, he quickly pulled his hand away while Flayon jumped back. Sh shit, wait, huh? Oh, I definitely touched you, but my hand seems fine. Maybe the shard stopped it? We we we've seen how much it helps those affected already. That makes sense. We should still be careful, though. We don't know how potent the protection is as Vesper looked down at the shard in his hand a loud crack echoed the cavern everyone turned to flay on Akka and Magni in horror as the ground beneath their feet fell bro you can't do this a second time we've been there we've been there before you can't do this again no no Akka Closest to the group, Shinri reached out in an attempt to grab Haka's hand and save him. Whoa! The despair! Sh 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 Shin Shinri! Haka reached down, reached his own hands towards Shinri, but the distance between them was too great. Shinri barely missed Haka's hand, instead griping into s the sacred bead wrapping around his arm. Haka and Shinri shared a horrified look as the same as the bead were removed from Haka's arm. Is that a boss? That, 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 that. I think we're gonna see a demon right now. He fell in the hole. <laughs> The holes were the enemies all along. The holes are the enemy. The trio fell in the pit below, where they found themselves surrounded by crystal. No, 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 no. We can't stay in here. The crystals. We gotta get out of here. Playoffs quickly helped Magni back to his feet, both of them searching for a way out. Hey, over there. It's it looks like little a little less steep there. We should be there and making up and make it back up. Hey, Akka, we should Hacker. Hacker, still where you landed? Was lunch hunch over? Was lunch? Lunch over. I'm getting hungry, guys. And covering his head and his arm. Uh, uh, are they Talking to me. What what do they sound far away? What why is everything so hazy? Ah my arm No What of you stay stay away The purple veins in Aka's arm glowed brightly as he growled in pain, corruption starting to take over. Daz, look the beads Aka's fur beads are gone Oh no the beads You were protecting him, that's why. Prayer beads? What are you? 
Oh shit! Before Magni could finish his sentence, I could roar. In front of her eyes, he transformed. Pray, 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 pray! Ah! Ah! Oh, oh, okay, not ideal. Quite bad, actually. Flay, let's get back to the others. As Akala's control, crystallized monster began to swarm, to swarm the rest of the kill. <sighs> Guys, Akka's not doing too good down there. We need to get down ASAP. There's a path over there. Let's use that. Let's get in the hole. I'll handle these fellas up here. Cover your backs. I'm sure I can L them. I wouldn't be so sure. Let's all head down. We're stronger together. Whatever you say, leader. Let's kick some ass. <sighs> Aka! I'm coming for you. Okay. Let's save. On it, whatever. What the fuck? Huh? Rune? Chest here. Another door. Oh, shit. Do I just risk it? I feel like I should run away. How many times did Aka tease situation where he would lose it? Oh, there is it. It's only episode. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Let's fight. Wait, 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 wait. I think I got a new uh, something. Oh, amazing. Who's who's the casa at for? I don't remember the casa hat. No. Wait, the bag of biscuit is not for me, it's for him. Okay. Get this then. Nope. Uh. Okay. So he's gonna wear two hat then? Okay, that's cool. Shinri is wearing two hats. That's fine. Um, use. Ah, the hat is a hat. Okay. He likes hats. <laughs> and then I'm going to give a skill to Haka even if he's the boss. I might regret that. TF2 for the skill. Oh, yeah, I mean, I didn't realize they were eating them. I didn't realize they were food item. Did I start the fight? No, not even. Okay, now we're starting. Defeat Tengu Haka or Shinri talks to Aka. I don't want to kill Haka, so. Yo, you two are right down there? Yeah, they apparently eat the ads. The dev confirmed it. Hang in there. We're coming to get you. You might want to hurry before Aka gets to us first. Is he resisting? I don't think he'll get along for long. We gotta figure something out and fast. Okay. Elixir. Okay. Uh.
a special mix here. Nice. Um, let's use Shinri here. Nice. Banger begins. Wait, the rune. What does it do? All right, let's perform on Shinri because he doesn't move fast. When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. All right, let's sniff the void here. Get behind here. Oh, I can talk to Shinri. <clears throat> oh shit, it's goofy time. Shit, I need water. <laughs> so, all that metal screaming and Yankee energy. Is that from the corruption gorge? No, corruption or not, Aka is who he is. Though, perhaps the corruption has some influence. Maybe it's like a really strong windstorm, and the beads keep it from becoming a tornado or a typhoon. A weaker or less skilled avian might get tossed around, knock into some trees, get hit by debris. Instead, Haka makes all that energy his own. Gorge! Seems like a bit of stretch to go from a cheerful, excitable guy with energy to spare. Whatever that is. These caves seem to exert their own influence and change how corruption manifests. <laughs> I imagine if we have adventures in different worlds, the corruption afflicting us might look different, but that discussion for after we get out of here. I can't understand you through your accent and the goofy voice. Well, that's just too bad. Wait, what do you mean my accent? Is it it's not that strong? Is it? All right, um, Flay, you're kind of fuck here. I cannot go over that, huh? Oh, yeah. More like when they're together, uh, I guess. <laughs> uh, no, let's not go on the mushroom here. All right. So the rune things, I'm wondering if it does anything. Uh, let's attack that. Nice, nice. Um attack here <clears throat> oof man Axel is so strong and let's make Shinri move again Maybe I'm using the wrong character. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> As I suspected, these room created a perception. I'm, I'm, I'm all over the place now. I. <laughs> no. Go. <laughs> 
I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I need to stop that shit. <laughs> this way, everyone. Nah, ah. Uh. Wait, but there's a chest there. Shit. And Shinri was the one. It's fine, it's fine. Jenkin, you're killing me. <laughs> uh, I guess we're just gonna go get the things here. And I guess I'm gonna go with this guy instead. Vespo is such a unique, it's hard to imitate. Yeah. But it's just like, I wish I had like kind of the tone. Oh, B.O.B. Nice. I'm gonna go here just in case. Pray! 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 <laughs> oh shit! Cancel him! Oh man, I'm so lucky! Ugh. Does he seem less aggressive? Something is holding back his Tengu instinct, but I don't know how much longer he can hold himself back. No, if I can't tell it's it's me, maybe I can break him through him. Aka, can you hear me? Gah! No, I have to get in there. I have to help him. Stop running after me! Shinri, get your ass in here! Man, Shinri, why are you so slow, man? Perform. Why are you so slow, bro? Get the chest here. Warp crystal. Warp crystal? Wait, who hasn't moved? Oh, I'm so screwed here, it's gonna attack again. Oops. Light arm shield. Shit. Stay there, don't move. No! I'm kind of lucky that he's attacking Fleon. And I don't think I want to use Magni to get to the... To the tombstone. Shit, I have to get there and there. Shit. I'm going to still risk it. Shinri, move! I can go up to... Okay, perfect. It's, uh, symbolic. <laughs> it's a symbolic hole. I just go on the crystal, it's fine. Okay, who hasn't moved? Wait, who hasn't moved? Oh, Axel?
Man, I am so lucky, but now my luck is about to run out. Magical rune on the floor, on the door begins to shine and trace out the shape of a raven. Huh? Wait, since when using the door ever did something? Okay, Magni, if you die, sucks to be you. All right. 244, Kappa 40. Tartarus Expedition Day 12. That's at the beginning. A few days has turned into seven. We should have been warned by those shifting earth sounds on the first day here. The dungeon is changing, is a changing maze. The path seems like a straight shot to get to the end, but each cavern can change order, and new ones appear as well. We haven't seen the entrance cavern since the first day, and started keeping detailed notes and maps of each cavern. And I'm glad I did, since we were able to identify the same caverns. We're not, we have not identified how the mechanism for the cavern switching works, however. Another note of great concern is the crystal that... Wow, that's a long one, man. I go, da, da, simply unusual. They are similar to the crystal. Some of the... Fun, touch them. A lucky brought opposing crystal type with us. I fear if we don't find the DM dungeon. A few days. And run out of opposing crystal. Crystal removal. Guild completely cures them. Yep, yep, yep. We know that. Monster in the dungeon spawned on the crystal cluster. I've named them crystal beast. Crystal manifestation. They are animal-like. Larger crystal bees command a smaller one. Okay. That was a, that was a long one. Alright, Shinri, move your ass. But before I do that, I just want to confirm. Okay. Wait, that's Shinri, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to bait him. Oh, I can talk here? Okay, I'm done talking like Goofy. Um, wait, I know what I need to do. I need what I know what to do. Nah, 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 nah. I was about to go listen to him, but... Um, I need to summon it in my mind. One moment. It's okay. I don't have to do this. <laughs> you okay there, Battle? You seem pretty win. Yeah, I, I'm fine. Uh, it's just that I've been chased through these caves for a while now. Something about being the chasers really making my legs unmotivated. For being natural and for being an a natural underground cave system, it's surprisingly spacious and extensive. Could make for a pretty sick race course. Someone a half, a half laugh. <laughs> like, 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 like this. I don't know. <laughs> Heck. Heck, you could probably fit a train in these tunnel. Wait, I got it. That's get the train to take or act whenever we want. Like, like on a train, like a Tampa's train. Uh. I, I, I don't think the guilds could sign off on something like that. Why not? I've heard rumors that my rival Rigmaster has won. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I will not be one up by her. <laughs> you guys are aware of a certain game coming, right? Are you guys aware of that game? I'm actually helping on that game. That is a great preface if you guys know about it. If not, it's crazy that you made that joke. It's more like Vest talks softly and evenly. And sometimes when he's immune, he half laughs, half talks, yeah. 
Oh, yeah? Okay, you guys know. Okay. <laughs> Heck, I'll build it myself. How hard can it be? Oh, you Felix, you don't know? So, there's a game that has been in uh, production for a little while. Um, it's probably coming uh, at some point. Maybe this year, next year, I'm not sure. It's called Chrono Gear. It's a game about crony. But in, the, in that game, there's a level, um, a polka level, but Bellow is also in the game. And it's on a train. It's on a circus train. <laughs> yeah, that's one of the level. Oh, you know which one I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a platformer. It's, it's gonna be a great game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that now what what I need some kind of power source, but gas is expensive these days. Maybe I could use something magical. And a whole lot of time. Might want to talk to our god tier colleague about that. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. There's no way. Who wrote that line? Because at the end, at the end, there was the mention of time, which is crony. There's no way, no way in hell these lines right there were not hinted with that. Yeah, I tried to, to talk more softly. Yeah. I don't know who wrote that line here, but let me tell you, if they don't know, everything in that dialogue hinted at that so hard. Anyway, let me move on. Who hasn't moved? Oh, Axel again. Oh shit, Magni's dead, I guess. <laughs> it's actually the voice I was trying to do. Oh, bye, Magni. Uh, are you for... Uh, you're getting off easy. That's okay, Rip Magni. <laughs> I'm so evil. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to this boy. Wait. No, no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Take a shot every time Magnus die. <laughs> He's already reacting to beats. I have to get in close. Hey! <laughs> Aka, it's us. Come on, buddy. Come back to us. I've got it. The bees are on him. <laughs> Talking about grr grr, I'm getting hungry. Haka, Haka, can you hear me? It's Shinri, please. Haka, come back to yourself. Pray, pray, weak, hunt, pray. Haka, please, we're a friend, not pray. Not pray? No! Pray! All this pray! No pray, Aka. It's Tempest, your friends, not pray. A flash of femininity broke the haze of rage that had swallowed Haka whole. Not 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 pray? T Tempest? Uh, uh, fl flock? Not 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 pray? Flock? A sense of relief spread through the group at saying, seeing Haka drop his fighting stance. <clears throat> yes, Haka, flock. We're a flock. You're safe. Wait, flock, flock, safe. Flock, flock, safe, flock. With his rush of adrenaline and power, run, power having run out, 
Aka fell into Shinru's open arm. A momentary, momentary peace spread over the party before quickly being broken by a monster snarl. Ah, we need to move on now. Before we get overrun again, where are we going? <clears throat> where we were earlier seems safe. The monster seems attracted to the pit of crystal. Sounds good, Shin. You want to help carrying Hacker, or are you good? He'll be fine. He's so light. I can barely feel the difference. Thanks to the offer, though. Yeah, Hakka is the, the shortest um, Olo and Olo Star Yen member. Don't let them lie to you. <clears throat> the group returned to their original position without incident, peering down at the carnage below. They're all infected with those crystal, turned into mindless zombie. I, I, I really don't want to end up like that. Deciding to lighten things up, lighten, lighten things up, Bettle put on an exaggerated smile and reached into his pocket. Good thing you're immune to it, thanks to this handy dandy magic crystal. Phantom, no! As Bettle held the crystal aloof, Phantom came down from his shoulder to take tackle it out of his hand. No bad dog, Phantom. Why? We needed that. That's it. No done trick for weak. Silence spread through the whole group until Altair broke it with a strained, annoyed smile. <sighs> well, nothing we can do about it. Let's just move on and try to get out of here. Now you know why there was emphasis on Akka being alone back in Act 2. <clears throat> I, I see some delight. Light come from the cave up here. I think I feel a breeze too. It might, feel, it might be the way out. Alright. I right, let's head out then. Sooner we can get out of here, the better. The group ascended toward the light and found out and found themselves in the large abandoned hall and of access. This game has nine act, right? I'm going much slower than I thought I would be going. I'm still gonna finish it today, but I might have to eat real quick. I hope you guys don't mind that. Because we have like seven, eight, nine, three act, and I'm really hungry. I wasn't sure if I would finish before eating. I'm just gonna eat a little something, if you guys don't mind. Probably gonna just get a cup of ramen or something, and uh, and we're gonna continue. Just give me a little break here. All right, all right, I'll be back.
<laughs> I come back with all the holes in the chat. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, the hole was, uh, the surprise lore. No one expected. <laughs> he scattered, scattered, scattered in the holes. Uh, <laughs> uh, right now, my water's boiling. I'm gonna go, uh, in about five more minutes. And then uh, I'll bring it here. We are eating a new um, cup noodle. It's a um, seafood curry ramen. It's the, the second time I had it. It's pretty good, actually. Yeah, we gotta patch the holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I'm gonna continue playing a little bit, waiting for uh, the water to finish boiling. <clears throat> All right, right in. Oh, Raymond, I think you were in chat earlier. With conversation, right? Wait, what? Where's our coma here? I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be that picky guy, guy. I, but you know, uh, yeah. Has there been coma between like, I'm just saying format broke again. Ah, uh, man. Sounds like a pain. All right. And, uh, conversation is Draco and Felix. All right. An artist, my mommy. Okay. Does this place look familiar to you guys? It, it, it looks like the Guild Hall. That, that's our meeting table. And that looks like the Tempest logo, but corrupted somehow. This, this whole place feels creepy. Let's split up and look around. Got it. Uh-oh. That's a great image, by the way. I really like that image. Wait, hold on. That picture is weird. It's like a cat boy. On the picture. Here. Alton found a picture... Of the gill with his face scratched out and his friend looking odd. Hey. Wait, isn't this us? But there's something different. It's almost as they're corrupted. While looking at the picture, Altair was able to see moments with his friend. Somewhere a little different, but they felt the same. They were happy. They talk about life, about movies, about adventure. And then things started to fall. One by one. One by one. <laughs> they start to fall. <laughs> they were cursed by this terrible corruption until all that was left was this empty hall. Altair, on his knees, noticed tears falling from his face, and his heart clenched while his mind was filled with memories that weren't his. What in the world is this place? What happened here, and why can I feel this? Empty halls. Mm. Empty halls. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my mind is up there. 
<laughs> empty holes. They were they were empty. There was nothing in there. Um, <clears throat> after walking for a while, Shinri found a creature that looked like a dragon, but had the color of a koi. Shinri slowly approached the dragon. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! Stop! Oh, wow! What the hell? Yo! 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 Was it Mamo? Mamo something. The name of uh, the artist. That's really, really, really pretty. Momami, uh, Momani, yeah, Momani. Mamomi? Mamomi. That's really, really, really pretty. I really like this. Hmm? What's this? Why would such a majestic dragon be in a place like this? The dragon came close to Shinri, making eye contact. Those eyes reflected so much pain and tenderness that Shinri could feel his heart shrinking. What a weird feeling. It's almost nostalgic. Who are you? In that moment, Shinri bond with the dragon, able to understand his, its feeling of solitude and the happiness that emerged after finding each other. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. The magic carp finally became a fucking dragon. I was waiting for this. No, but I'm going to be super honest. From the beginning, from the day one of Shinri's debut, I'm like, it's a fucking magic carp. It's a fucking magic carp. That's what it is. Like, come on. The whole story and everything. And I've been waiting. I've been waiting for it to come back. Like the carp, the koi, to become like a a dragon, to become a Gyarados. You guys just made it happen. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Hey, Shinri. Doesn't that dragon feel like a koi panion? Even the color is similar. Yeah, I guess that, you know. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Eastern Dragon lore. <laughs> Pokemon came in my mind first. <laughs> it's just like the one at the gill. What is this place? And what happened to you? After a while of looking around, Axel found something in the ruins of the hall. Hey, yo, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I should have said it in advance. It's like his his next line is starting with A, yo. A A Axel found something. Next line has to start with A, yo. A, yo, what's this thing? Oh, it's a book. Never mind. <laughs> he tossed it to the side. What was it about? I don't know. That's some complicated words, man. I don't know why people can just use simple words. English is hard, man. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I'm actual coded. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, hell no. I'm an old man, Axel. <gasps> Okay. Uh, oh, would you look at that? I think my water's ready. I think my water's ready. Oh, hey, I'm going to go get that, guys. Okay? All right. All right. <clears throat> Old man Axel. Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm out of here. Uh, no, no. Uh, it's my water. It's my water. I'll be back.
Oh, good night. Here goes John again. Oh, but I, I fell in the hole. Did you see that? <laughs> All right. So, guys, I just want to say that I have my uh, cup of uh, cup noodle seafood curry, and I have to confirm to you guys that I am using my took my takodachi ramen stopper as we speak. It is one of the best Hololife production goods that I bought. I am not kidding. I am not kidding. All right. Let's uh let's continue being uh very wholesome and smart and not himbo uh uncle. Uh the ramen stopper is like um you could put just about anything on your cup noodle, right? To make sure that the, um, the lid doesn't uh, go up, right? But there are products like like the Takodachi uh, Ramen Stopper that you can put on your ramen to make sure it doesn't open. <laughs> and I'm using that. It's really, really cute. It's stupid cute. Come on, man. I know you can read. Let me have the book. Maybe it's something useful. Hey, this is interesting. Huh? What are you talking about? You have to, like, let it sit for three minutes. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? How the fuck are you eating your cup noodle, bro? You 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 pull you peel the lid the lid a little bit. You put your water in. You put back the fucking lid. And then you put something on the lid so it doesn't open. You wait your goddamn tree minute and you have your cup noodle. Huh? It says cup noodle because you cook it in the cup. He puts it in the microwave. He puts it in. The, I peel the lid, the lid off, and I put water, and then. Xander, you just made Asia your whole enemy. The whole of Asia is coming to your house as soon as they learn this. <sighs> no! Felix is judging you, bro. Ooh. Okay. Okay. All right. We're. <sighs> oh, no. He's getting shot of the. <laughs> we need to talk. We need to do a dev meeting. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you know what? I fucked. I forgot the chopstick. Ah, uh, shit. All right. Um, I'll let you guys deal with. Um, for Xander, I'll be back in about a minute. <laughs> in the microwave. In the microwave. He puts it in the microwave. What? What? I'm broken.
You're the kind. You're, you're the same kind of guy who put who, who boils water in a microwave, huh? Mike making tea in the microwave too, huh? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. In high school, we'd had a room where we buy cup noodle, but there was no kettle for boiling water. We could only use the microwave. I'm so sorry. It's a habit. Mr. Xenexander, as the resident uncle here, I have to tell you, you need to grow up. It is time to let go of your habits. It is time to discover real life, real boiling water, delicious, yummy, no microwave shenanigan. You will thank us. The next time you have a cup noodle, you will think about this moment. And you're going to be like, wow, if I never had this encounter, if I never had this encounter, I would never have realized how much I missed on life. But now, thanks to Jenkins and the gang, I know, I know. Oh, you can get electric kettles for like 10 bucks. Easy, easy. Ah. Oh. Mercenary is like, I'm also a microwave user, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna band up with my guy here. <laughs> In reality, I do not care. You are free to do whatever you want. But it is funny. All right, all right. I'm about to slurp those noodles here that I did with a kettle. And then we're gonna we're gonna continue. I did put a little bit too much of water though. Man, exactly, Breeze. Don't start don't start talking about about boiling water in a microwave to uh, coffee and tea. Amateur, they are much more crazy than me. Hmm. <laughs> Itadakimas, by the way. For the record, I don't microwave tea. I made proper. If I think, I think Vest goes with. Yeah, probably. There might be. Yeah, that might happen. Some type of logbook or journal. What does it say? But it says nothing. There's nothing written on it. We've been in the dungeon for more than a month. We barely have anything to eat or drink. Some of us are losing the battle against corruption and things are getting rough. Our wise friend is looking for a way to slow down the corruption in case it can't stop it. I can still hear the words of the enemy in my head. You will never escape Tartarus. Why is Persona in this game? Now you're going to tell me Tartarus is not only a personal thing, and I think you're right. But when I see Tartarus, my brain goes to Persona. Our scholar thinks that the name of this place doesn't make things better for us. Magni was afraid, afraid of losing his friend, of losing himself to corruption, of making them suffer for his problem. So he put on a facade and did his best for his friend. He knew they cared for him and would try not to touch on the subject. But he was just tired of it all and continued to push forward. Again, amazing art. Gee, this is the art... Um The, the, the art chapter. Oh, it's the name of hell in Greek. I see.
Tartarus is a place for ti Titan's prisoner. Eh. All right, all right, all right. You're educating me. It's also a place full of holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it actually? Or you're just being a, f a funny man? Yo, I was right all along, guys. The the whole the whole were important all along. Magni opened the door that led outside the door. The moment the door opened, he faced to face with a sage that looked like him, but he heavily crystallized. The sage took the shard from Magni, causing the corruption in him to spread once again. I'm not ready to be forgotten. It's not my them. Yet, you will not stop me. Long hair Magni to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Okay, I'm going to need to to finish my cup noodle before we continue this. Wait, wait, the prison are holes in the ground. Yeah. Oh my god, you For real? Tartarus is also a personification of promotion god uh, gods beside Gaia and don't make me say that. So alternate future version of Tempest. I was right. You guys were trying to make me look like a fool. But I knew the whole. We're important. Knew it. It's my uncle instinct. All right, as I'm eating, completely change of topic. Do you guys ever put shredded cheese in your cup noodle? All right, let me know. I do, often, almost all the time. No, but that sounds rad. Highly recommend it. Sifu ramen Doria style. Uh, but it's a cup ramen, so, you know. I put egg. That is also a good idea. On fried noodle? Yeah, fried noodle is different though. But yeah. I put cheese on cheap chili. Ah. Oh. I do something else with my ramen. But after I got I don't think I should say it. You know, no, you should definitely say it. Absolutely. All right. Luckily, I'm a, I'm a fast eater, so we're gonna be done very soon. Mm. I recommend it if you're ever in Japan or in Asia. Um, I think it's a, it's a good variant. The, 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 the curry cup noodle is pretty good. Confess your sins. I did no sins. Only Xander. <laughs> So 
Sorry for the pet peeve for people who hate eating some. You can mute the stream. And when you see that the screen moves again, it means that I'm done eating. Nah, I'm not eating the pumpkins today. Wow, what you said got banned? Oh my god. What the hell did you say? Ah. All right. We're done. Did that help? Huh? I like to eat ramen raw. I had I had to put um, the all <laughs> all chat to see it, but I did see it. I mean, okay, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. Why does raw is a problem? Huh? Like raw fish? What's the problem with raw? Can we eat raw shit? I mean, not literal, of course. But Alexander, I'm going to be honest with you. As a kid, snacks. You take the, the bags of ramen. Not the cup noodle. That's weird. But you take the bags. And you take the, the, the powder packet. You put it in the bag. You break it up. You shake it. That's a yummy snack. Actually, it's such a yummy snack that here in Japan, you there's this brand called Baby Star. And that's what they do. It's a uh, ramen, ramen snack. I'm not even kidding. So it's not really that weird. You're safe. All right. Let's see here. Oh, I was in Canada. We just, we were doing it, so I think it's just, I think it's just a thing. But it's such a thing, to be honest. That wait, what is the? The light arm shield. I think this is Shinri. And the war crystal, I don't know what it does. Why does Shinri has everything? After you guys say, oh, Shinri is OP. Yeah, no shit. Shinri grant the passive skill deflect. Oh my god. Yeah, see, it just it's just normal, Alexander. You're safe with this one. Um I wish I knew what um the war crystal did. Ah, uh, like this? Okay. A strange could teleport up to six space away. Okay. I'm gonna give it to Shinri too, I guess. Alright. Let's save because I did a lot of shenanigans. 
All right, where are the special things? There's a chest here. There's a jewel here. I wonder if it does anything. Oh, no. Oh, it's a concept bunny. Wait, who has bunnies? Huh? Who has bunnies? Oh, wait, they're enemies. Lol. Wait, but this one is not. Is that supposed to be a magmite? I guess so, because it's versus Magni. Interesting that you guys thought that the magma ain't no way, Jose Law. I'm gonna send Axel get this. Or I could use the crystal. Hmm. Alright, let's start the fight. There's a UK, who was this guy? I don't know, man. Just pushed me and ran off. Kind of look like Magni. Don't be ridiculous, Axel. There can be only one Magni Desmond. Haha, <laughs> yeah. Of course, we know that. Um, he wasn't wrong, though. He did look like you. How about we chase him? Okay. Um. Oh, wow. Shinri can move a lot more now, huh? No. Not close enough. Uh, sh ooh, ooh. Let's go here. Let's wait. You know what? I'm not. I'm not gonna attack them. I can go on the table. That's kind of wild. Ah, shit. They're gonna attack Axe, uh, Altair. Let's have Aka move again. Mm. Move here. All right. I love to go on the table. <laughs> Guess Magni is gonna talk to the Magmite here, or the. Shame we can't keep these things aside from the growling and the biting. These rabbit are actually pretty cute. Well, what about this one? Is this one nuzzling your boot? I think he likes you. Try picking him up. All right, then up you go, little guy. The concept, the neutral concept bunny hopped away from Magni's grasp and sat at attention, just out of harm's reach. However, Magni just walks to it and grabbed the bunny with his hand. It seems oddly fine with it, and Magni decides to keep it by placing it on one of his artificial hands. Okay? Wow, simple like that. Uh, Magni, my boy. Oh, no. Be a little late tonight. Yeah, tell your mom. Woo! Okay. Oh, Magni, are you are you having a comeback, my dude? What the heck? Where's the Magni like I suck? What the hell? Huh? Who is this? Yeah, what's wrong with this dude just grabbing like animals in the wild? All right. You heard you talking shit. 
Oh shit. He's back. And I'm healing? What? What is this shit? Let's attack here. Yo, is this what you have to deal with? Yo, is that what I have to deal with? I think he said. It's the first time we actually hear Vesper. After all those hours. Alright. Like this. Um. Wait. Is there something to be done with this crystal here? It's really odd. Like it's it's like it's it's like a sore tom. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Info There is no such thing as a final bad hand so long as you persist. Huh? Did you just fucking hide like... Was this from the book or... Okay. Okay. Oh, Axel. Why am I so OP? Am I supposed to be OP like that? Casually dropping secret. Yeah, I I was like, is it maybe the the bookshelf that are teaching me something? But I don't think so. The other bookshelf are not triggering. So it was really the jewel. I thought that it looked like different, but yeah, it really did. All right, it's Magni hours. Dang. Um let's move Axel in there. Oh, it was the big crystal? Uh-huh. Okay. A dis dis distorted flame flickers in the east wing. A mist crystal. Huh? Ah, oh, shit. There's another crystal there. In the east wing. Wait, guys, I can't, I can't read my east from my west. Uh, east is. Left. It's right. Oh, shit. So this here? So one of the, the torches? Yo, you guys are hiding like some, sh some shit in here. So himbo, I know you love me. Who hasn't acted? Oh, Altair. I'm not sure if I want him to act though. It's okay. Yeah, Bettle's the dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Kale. Man, I can't believe I was talking shit about Magni. 
We've got a couple more people to murder, so. Just a couple more meet people. Wow, okay. Wow, the guy comes to attack me, I cancel him, and I just attack in his face. Yeah, I do know that most streamer actually blast through. I am Got usually not that here, kind. I, what's the point of blasting true, you know? Like, I, this is gonna be a one-shot anyway. This is gonna be a one-shot anyway, right? The exorcist left is weapon on the west wing. Huh. Wait, I'm gonna do this here. I left it in the west wing. So this, maybe? Anyway, let's go investigate. Okay. Oh, I forgot to check the light. No, it's not this one. Man, now I'm wondering everything that I might have missed. No. I like how he's very patient. Very patient boss Magni. Okay. Not here. Not here. Yeah, you just stand there. Not this one. Wait, what? I'm pretty sure I... Oh, do I need to go on the light? No, I can't. They said something about the light, no? No, it does nothing. There's a... Hmm. Just gonna move slowly in. Oh, is that it? Yeah, but that's where I was going all anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was already picking them up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so it's nothing special. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I was like looking for more complex hints. Okay, who hasn't moved? Battle. Ah, yeah, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. It's nothing special. It's just hints for people who have no eyes. Actually, I don't know if Shinri is able to go through that. Without getting damaged. Okay, I'm just going to position myself. Hey, thank you. 
Thank you, Leon, for the sub. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to the pumpkins. Wait, hold on. Let's position myself. You would be surprised. No, I wouldn't. I know that people don't see anything. <laughs> Alright, Shinri, can you do it? No, you can't. It's okay. Go in the crystal there. Kind of wish I would not have sent Shinri because he's pretty OP. But anyway, everyone has been shown to be really strong, so... We should be fine. I could move Battle to help here. Hey, what's up, Leon? And? Alright, check this. Something. The Showman Mask. Oh, yeah, let's go. It's okay, Shinri. Take your time. All right, where, where's Magni? Yeah, I was about to say, I feel there's a talk option here. They somehow look like, like me. You're Magmites, right? Yeah. They remind me of my little mags at home. Really? They have that look in their eyes. Kind of makes me want to kick their face in. Aren't the Magmite a great motivator to make it out of this order life? We have to return home. So our little guys won't miss us too much. You know what? Yeah. Let's do our best to make it back home. They never did. Of course. Leon, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. I do enjoy fan art a lot. I even have a tag. I even uh, I have a tag on Twitter. It's Junk and Pose. P-O-S-E, drink and pose, one word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, d I did have some uh, great one, actually. Especially at the beginning. I don't know if you guys ever saw, like, the art that came out when I started, um... When I started with my new model. There was some amazing art out there. I was just gonna say, think a pic of you doing Magni. What the fuck? <laughs> to a dead Magni. <laughs> I think I did say that, right? <laughs> All right. No problem, Leon. Thank you. Very kind of you. All right. Let's, um... I want to engage with, um... I want to engage with Magni. You've arrived. Though you may share the face of my companions, you are but mere echoes of them. You cannot replace them. You cannot be who were. To live on solely true me, and live on we shall. Okay. Okay, big boy. Shinri! It's okay, guys. Go on without me. Jangan may be uncle, but he's also Putin Papa. <laughs> I do miss... I do miss eating a good poutine. Okay, okay. Eight damage, huh? You... Me, Dillweed. Passionate and self-confident, ardent and steadfast in the face of adversity. But what else would I expect from my Echo? So you're me? No, you and I are not the same. I am the one who faced danger head-on. 
I am the one who fought toot and nail to defend Elysium from corruption. I refuse to kneel before that which seeks to destroy all I hold dear. And you are n nothing but. Bro, you need to chill. What's this self-righteous bullshit? Look at you, you, you're decrepit. You resort to stealing and you're alone. I bet you can't even name your guildmates, you narcissistic ass. Is he talking to himself though? <laughs> I, 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 I can't. Th this fog, m my head. You're doing this, aren't you? You're why I can't remember them. Just die already, you miserable wet mop. And give me back the shard. Wow, holy shit, Magni. Wait, the door. Fuck. I think, yeah, I can do it. Go here. Oh, and, and, uh... Alright. Kappa 33, Tartar's Expedition Day 5. We finally found the entrance of the cavern dungeon system. The Utopian court wanted the guild to explore. After three days of combing through plains outside the capital, we came across an entrance. Well, I say entrance, but it really was a damn hole in the ground! <laughs> I knew it. Surrounded by hills. It took us all day to rappel down. I can't imagine how long it would take to climb back out. Leaders say we won't be spending more than a few days in this dungeon since it's just an exploration quest. We just have to bring back some crystal samples from the academy to experiment with and record of what we see. I begrun begrudgingly accepted the record keeping task from leader since he asked so nicely. Anyway, this is the beginning of the record. The dungeon entrance is similar to all the other ones recorded by past adventurer. <laughs> Again? <laughs> you guys did that to yourself, okay? It's a stone arcway, big enough to let a small troop through. The name of the dungeon was recorded on bronze plank, and right on the right wall, it reads Tartarus. In the origin script, in the origin script, Braze braziers of blue fire were placed on either side of the opening. Set to other one of one, the eight of us. No problem passing through. There were no monsters immediately upon entering. The entryway was large, platform gaping chasm. Chasm are like holes, right? Narrow rope bridge. We decided to rest there before beginning to cross. We took turns on watch during the night, but the only thing of note was the sound of shifting falling rock every few hours. All right. Violet runes of on the door shine, tracing out filming a sigil. Oh, okay. Why do the door now do something, but before they weren't? Yeah, Sai, the, the team, actually, I, I, I'm surprised, and I said many times, I'm really, really surprised by all the little details that is in the game. Like, I knew you guys work really hard on that, right? But it's always hard to actually say how much wrong character maybe. Ah, oh, tabarnak. I had to use the... But how the... Okay, fair, fine, whatever. It only gives me XP, so it's okay. It's not like I'm missing anything big. Why are you smiling at me, you little schmuck? Alright, Magni, do your job. Now that apparently you're good. Oh, 53? Yeah, and zero damage? What the frick? Magni is now OP, guys. Also... Who has the... Oh, it's Axel, huh? Ah, it's okay. You don't see... You wanna see my lower word? <laughs> 
All right, let's do some magic. Please don't, it's not done. <laughs> oh, snap! I'm surprised to see... Oh, he says a speech? Depending on everyone he talks? Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to see all the dialogue. I'm surprised to see you here with these guys. What makes you say that? You were never much being... A cog in a machine, always coming up with contingency, finding solace in solitude. Oh, man. Whoo. Yeah. Um, actually, I'm going to be very honest with you guys. This this Vesper, right, in, in the game, I was like, he's way too social, man. <laughs> I was like, this Vesper is way too social. That you're here with others standing against me. Prove that you are but an echo. <gasps> Nothing like the men I fought alongside. No. No, we are the fake one. You're not completely wrong. I do stellar work when I'm left to my own devices. But being with these guys is a privilege. A privilege I do not take lightly. A privilege I will live up to. Here and now. Ay ay ay. Who hasn't moved? I think it's only Haka. Oh no, Haka killed him. I wanted to see like the dialogue for Haka and then I killed him. My friend, no. I can't just disappear after all those years of waiting. We are the bad guy. Man, the art on this chapter is insane. My leader, my friends, my bunny nation. <laughs> Bunny Nation in chat. Bunny Nation in chat. <laughs> hey, hey, we, I have my own bunnies. I have my own bunnies, guys. I have my own bunnies. <laughs> I like how, like, there's people crying and people laughing. Bunny Nation. Rise up, Bunny Nation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've always been a loner. What's happening to him? His body. Crystals. Crystal. There's purple crystal gray out of him. It looks like his inner self was transformed a while ago. He has beyond help. And by the time we meet, met him, but what does that mean? Will he die? We can't just leave him here to his fate. There has to be a way we can help him. I don't think we're able to help him anymore. As Vesper said, he's been gone ever since we met him. Oh, shit. Oh, it's fine. Ah, finally be able to go see them. My, my friends, all I came here. And now it's just me. Take this, young one. He gave the shard back to Magni. But remember, not even this can protect you forever. If you stay here long enough, all of you will eventually lose the corruption as well. Wait, where is the name of your friend of this guild? Ah, I can't remember anymore. I barely even know who I am. Y young man. His gaze turned to focus on Shinri. P please take care of the dragon. It belonged to one of my dearest friends. Almost immediately following these words, the corruption took him, completely crystallizing him. <coughs> All right, two chapter to go, guys. I'm going to keep this save, actually.
Mm. If I ever want to see more dialogue. Act 8. Writer Xenexander High in Chan. Conversion writer Fe. Artist Lumescuro. Lumescuro. The guild wearily pressed on. Gradually, it seemed the cavern was brightening. A few tepid beams of sunlight began f filtering in from cracks in the ceiling. At this, Altair perked up considerably, ec ecstatic. He turned to address the boys behind him. Guys, look! Sunlight! I almost can't believe it, but I think we're finally... Uh, guys? No! It's the Demon King time! Now facing them, Altair could see none of them were listening to him. They were speaking in hushed tones. Fleon and Magni in particular looked rather grim. Confused and a little miffed by his excitement was not shared, Altair moved closer to listen. It's gotta be, right? I mean, after what happened to that sage. Yeah, I really hate to agree, but there's no better explanation. The crystal, they're people. They're all people. Or they used to be anyway. They were all supposed to be deleted. But then we haven't been deleted. So then how did the crystal spread to us? Magni opened his mouth to answer, but Haka loudly interjected before he could. I don't get that either. I mean, Shinri got this, but it's not turning into giant rocks. He grabbed Shinri's blue thing left hand and waved both of it in the dark and right hand around. Shinri didn't complain about the manhandling. Instead, a little amused at Hakka's energy. Magni huffed, disgruntled about being interrupted, but he continued as if he hadn't been. Well, everything is in dungeon was meant to be wiped. We were never supposed to come here. I think it spread to us because we came into contact with the forgotten memory, like like corrupted data file inf infecting other files. A lengthy silence followed the dire statement during which everyone avoided eye contact. The re revelation settled heavily around them, like the weight of the tree of the sky on their shoulder. None of them wanted to acknowledge it, but they were all pondering the same question. Would the same fate occur to them if they failed to escape in time? Eventually, Shinri spoke up, breaking the dreadful hush that had befallen the group. Come on, let's keep going. The exits must be nearby. The sooner we're out, the better. Everyone simply nodded in tenuous agreement before trudging. Trudging? Trudging! Says Microwave Man in the chat. <laughs> Onward. <laughs> More light began to illuminate the cavern, the ominous crystal having all but disappeared. Instead, there were now patches of grass growing in cluster in the pale sunlight. Honestly, it was great just to see signs of non-hostile life. <laughs> I'm a published author, okay? <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Most of the group began to pick up their pace and live in and 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 lived in uh, uh, uh. English is not uh, my first language <laughs> at the prospect of escape paradoxically however Altair and Axel did not something both Vesper and Magni no noticed they slowly, they slowed to a stop too, allowing the Vanguard boys to continue ahead. Did anyone ever like um, say it? How it's funny how they're the Vanguard, the Vanguard boy, right? They could have been the Vang, the, the Vanguard girl. 
The Vanga Boy. The Vanga Boy. Right? That is, it, there was this group in the, in the 90s. Was, was that it? The Vanga Boy? The Vanga Boy. Venga Bus? I thought it was the Venga Boys. No, it is the Venga Boys. And every time I see the Venga Boys, I go to the Venga Boys. Hey, Sai! <laughs> Venga Boy Mansion, gifted, let's go! <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks a lot, Sai, for all the support. <laughs> and welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the shop. <laughs> all right. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, okay. <clears throat> let's, let's continue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Ha, <laughs> Altair quietly stare at the floor while Axel gazed back at where they come from. Concerned, Vesper spoke up, his tone ten tentative and gentle. Are, are you boys okay? Neither answered immediately, then Altair whispered a, res a response. I was just thinking that Tess said about those crystal being people. It's just... He trailed off. Axel turned. Revealing a troubled expression. Eventually, thinking the same thing. Yeah, that other Gil feels wrong to just have leave him in there. Buried and alone. Vesper brows furrowed. He looked to Magni, and the two had a silent exchange. Magni nod, nodded. Nodded? Nod, nodded. And came a bit closer. Hey, we understand how you feel. And trust me, neither me or Vess are happy about it. But we also know that there's nothing we can do. They've been deleted. That doesn't mean they're forgotten, though. We, meet, we met them. Even if we only met the Sage, we know that they were here and that they live. We can't restore them, but we can remember them, so they won't be forgotten anymore. Yeah, yeah, is the best we can do. Altair and Axel look at each other, having their own wordless conversation. Axel nod firmly, letting out a sore, a short excel. Altair lifted his head, a melancholic but resolved smile on his face you're right sorry boys didn't mean to get lost in my toss like that ah uh, yeah no happens to the best of us yeah not you there's no thoughts in your head to get lost in oi oi despite axel's loud protest both he and altair had cheered up all four of them jogged to catch up with the others ahead Finally, up ahead, there was a blinding flash of daylight. It flooded in from an opening in the cavern. Just beyond it, a subtle tease of fresh air. Guys, look! The exit! We're finally free! Yeah! Woo! Yeah! All eight members of the guild broke into spirit, whooping and yelling. Their joy was short-lived, however, as their uproarious cheering had drawn unwanted attention. A thunderous crash forced them to skid skibidi, to, to a halt, already reached for their weapons. Predictably, cr uh, crawling out from within the lingering darkness, a, ma a hole. Crawling out of it within the lingering darkness, that's a hole. A massive creature blocked their way. 
a giant reptilian body toward, towered to over them, glaring with furious eyes. A hydra. A hydra. Bellow shriek <laughs> in equal park. Fear and frustration. Oh, for the love of... Altair almost couldn't believe it. They were so close. They were... They were close. Not giving into despair, he raised his gun saber, pointing at the monster. Come on, boys. We made it this far, haven't we? There's nothing that can stop us now. Don't stop me now! All right, Shinri, the door behind this. <laughs> and then there's this little guy in the middle. Um, let's uh, save here. Okay, so I know that I can talk to the crystals now. So Shinri has to be here. That's a cat, so that's Fleon. Who can... Um, Axel. Axel can walk fast. And I'll put... Altair. And then Battle can help him go faster. And, uh... Yeah, like this. Alright, that's fine. <coughs> been a while since we fought a, a hydra but remember the plans boy you got it leader operation batch in his head until it dropped dead let's go i would have more i would have used more eloquent words but yeah uh this one's a tree has three head so it should take three time hey yo triple the fun i call it dibs shut up axel oh yeah I remember this song. Wait, Shinri can move so much now. Oh yeah, Magnation, rise up. I can talk and perform. Okay, let's talk then. Bunny, rise up! Bunny Nation! <laughs> Biddle, you good, man? Y yeah, uh, of course! <laughs> what's up? What's up out there? Like, you need, need me to help fighting or something? I, I just saw the way you nearly impale your head on that crystal after s slipping on that puddle. <laughs> you saw that? I mean... I don't even know what you're talking about. I would never do something so graceless. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? I think Shinri needs my help. Goodbye out there. Better watch out for that. He's beauty. He's grace. He's landed flat on his face. Alright, let's put Shinri near the dra the the Hydra. Oops. Alright, let's talk to the cat. Wait, is that a cat there? A cat? Where? Right there, over there! Oh my god, look at that. It's so cute! Hold on, let me meow at it. Leon begins to meow at the cat, which catches the attention of it. The cat comes closer, Fleon kneels down on the ground and to greet it. There you go. Hi, I'm Fleon. You look friendly. But then the cat proceeds to walk away from the pilot, bristling. Fleon calls loudly after it. Oh, so you ate me, huh? After being yelled at, the cat turns back once again, 
to Flay on and proceed to brush toward his leg, meowing for attention. Chuckling, Flay on picks up the cat and deciding he will take it back home. Uh, uh, really? Are you sure this is this is one of your rooms who got lost here? All right, concept. Concept cat. Um, Axel is already on his way. Let's bring the other boy close by. All right. The Hydra trashes, sending crystal falling down. Oh, shit. It's only two damage, though. Okay, I get it. No Jun Meow. Meow. Okay, let's wait here. Let's perform. Aha! Oh! I see how it is. Actually, I need to get behind. I just remember about the door. Deep meow. Like that one video on the cat with the real deep meow. I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, I get it, I get it. Thank God I can speed up. Okay, so this was a one shot. It's a video of regular cat, but then it meow sounds like a grown ass McGuire. Meow. I, I, I can't say I've seen it. I don't think I can reach it, actually. Not one shot, that's for sure. Let's go anyway. Oh, there's a chest behind him too. Shit. It's okay, let's just go there. Attack? I hope I don't do too much damage. That was... When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. When you sniff the void, what the hell? It sniffs back. I hope I don't do a lot of damage, he says. I fucking one shot him. Oh, yes, and I sniffed the void too. Yeah, I guess. Oh, he actually can get it. My, my spear? How'd get here? Why, you left out, Vespi. Indeed. It's right here. I'll show the Sidra who's the boss. I mean, don't need that. Shinri has already uh, proven you otherwise. I like how... Uh, uh... Ah... Now I'm back with my double spear. Okay. But I want to see the door. Don't attack me, Dragon Kun. One head down. Oh, it's not over. Okay. Oof. Yeah, yeah, whatever. 
Oh, the damage has increased though. You know what? I'm gonna save scum. Oh no, you. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> if you guys are like, oh, you need a good character in the good door, glory to the brave. Alright, we're reloading, I guess. Save's coming, baby! Let's go! Glory to the brave, that's not me. Let's uh, get uh, Leon out of here. The stat message did not appear. No, because apparently it has to be the good character. Or, or, or they are, um... Wait. Is it broken? Wait. No one is being... It doesn't work. Ah, shit. He's too far. Oh, I can talk? Oh, it's just broken? Okay, I'm gonna stop messing with it then. Hey, we found a bug! Real bug! No, 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 bugs are not real. That's what you told me, right? All right. Do I just use Shinri? It sounds like hacking. I feel Vesper... Oh, Vesper did want to have a, a piece of this guy. Wait, do I not have my... I do. Oh, equip. Okay. Uh... Oh, I have to be close and personal. I get it. I get it. Wait, before I do that. I want to see the text, the, the, the talk here. You want to all right? Everything hurts. I want to go home already. You and the rest of us, buddy. Oh, we're almost there. Just hold on a little bit longer. Yeah, we got to Got to Get to the exit. It feels so close and so far at the same time. Here, take one of these. It should help with the pain for a bit. Are you sure? Isn't it your last one? Yeah, but you can always make more. After all, I'm the self-proclaimed alchemist of Guild Tempest, the great Magni Desmond. Thanks. I just hope I don't need one for yourself before you can make more. I'll be fine. I've dealt with far much worse before. Now, get back out there and jest like you've never jest before. Alright. I want to see if there's other dialogue. No. Nope. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. Hakachan! Haniki, what's up? That Nechan, you, I saw you talking the other night. Huh? The girl you were talking to outside the guild hall the other night. Oh, her, what about her? You gotta introduce me, bro. She was mad cute, yo. 
A Axel, that was very married owner of the apothecary down the road. She was just delivering stuff for Magnus Potion. Another Nachan already taken. Sorry, bro. You, you're gonna have no luck with that one. When will it be my turn? Echina Nechan. <laughs> ah, poor Axel. No text here. Oh, more talk. Whoa! Was that nasty hit you took back there, Eka? You okay? You need anything? Yeah, I'm good. Nothing you can't handle. Really? It looks like you're bleeding. We should get patched up. Come here. No, no, I'm fine. See, it's not blood. Oh, it's not who's... Our fearless leaders. Who is Eric shit? What? And took out five enemies at once when he saw me surrounded. Bro ended up bleeding like a faucet. Ah, sounds like him. He got patched up, right? Yeah, Magni saw the whole thing and lectured him for being reckless while healing his wound. Somehow, I doubt that stopped him from doing from doing it. Probably not. Wait a minute. I see that gash on your leg. Huh? Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Mind helping me with it? Yeah, of course. Let's get that taken care of and let, let's finish um, dealing with the rest of the thing here. All right. Let's see if there's other dialogue. Oh my God, all of the dialogue. Gavis battle. Gavis battle. Huh, yeah? Hi. Uh, hi, did, did you need something? Nope. I just came to see how you were doing. Uh, well, I'm not dead yet, so that's something. Hmm. Of course you're not dead. You're not allowed to die. Huh? I won't let you die, Gavis Battle. Uh, you know, normally those words will be comforting to hear, but coming from you, though, I think I'm more afraid uh, for my life than I was previously. Huh? What? Why? Wait. Why are you going? Come back, Bell. I wanted to show you what I meant. Alright, stay here. Man, oh man, there's so many talk interaction in this fight. I spent more time talking to people than anything else. Okay, let's talk. Tear Bear. Did you see the way that last thing exploded when you killed it? Huh? No. It was so cool. You gotta teach me how to do that. Huh. I wasn't really paying attention to the way it died. I kinda... Turn away the moment I knew it was down. Oh shit! Oh shit! Cool guy, don't look at explosion. Wow! Wait, wait, wait. This line had Machina X Flayon as the speaker. I am 99% sure. Just want you to know. Whoa, too cool to watch your enemy die, huh? Damn it! <laughs> what, what? No, I just want to get out of here already. Sure, sure. I'm gonna go figure out how to explode those things with, with my mind. They'll never be able to withstand my mental trauma. Bye, Tear Bear. F flay on, flay on. Wait, that can't aid, right? There's a lot of dialogue in the other acts too, but a lot of conditional required unit to take damage, I believe. Ah, uh, I see. But I was too OP, so no, no talk, no talk for me. More talk, let's go, baby. Hey, Aka, any any lingering issues from earlier? Huh? From when you lost control after falling down the pit. Oh, falling down the hole, falling down the hole. 90? Holy shit, bro. Oh, nah. It's all under control. 
Can't even feel that fucker right now. This is 100% pure Banzuin hacker, baby. Good. If that changes in any way, tell us, all right? Yeah, of course. I'd rather not have repeat that ever again. You and me both. Seeing you that way, if, if you need anything, let me know. Thank you, Father. I know I can... <laughs> Thank you, Padre. I know I can always count on you. But don't forget, you can rely on me, too. I know you're older and wiser. And have way more experience than me. But I want... Oh, wait, wait, that's, that's still Hakka talking. Of course. Everyone needs help now and then. No matter how old they are. Thanks, Hakka. Yeah, now I can get back to kicking ass so we can get out of here. I mean, we're never going to get it, getting it out of here if we keep on talking to everybody like that. Does Vesper talk to anybody here? That is funny. Vesper is the one who talked the least to people. Hmm. <laughs> All according to the lore. Yeah, he doesn't talk to anyone. All right, let's just attack them. Ooh, 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 did you see that? One, two, three, let's go. Skill lost, Hydra. Last one, let's bring it home. Oh no, please. Wait, what? The Hydra attacked me, but no, it was me attacking him. That was funny. All right, does anyone can talk to Vesper? Ain't no way, Jose. I can't reach. I can't reach with uh, Altair, so I'll have to use... Uh... Yeah, Vesper has his spear. So he doesn't care about anything else. Wait first, I want to see if there's other talk with battle. No, okay. All right. Okay, R really Vesper doesn't talk to anyone in this. All right, it is what it is. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to finish it with Shinri. Oof! What <laughs> <laughs> I would... Okay. Not even a critical. Not even a critical. Just pure 76 damage. The group stumble out of the cave, crisp air, and light hitting them all at once. But I know there's one chapter left, and we haven't seen Demon King. Oh, wait, he's waiting for us outside. He was there at the beginning. Captain America, right? They were out, leaving behind the dark and cold. It felt like the dawn after a very long, grueling night. And relief ripple across the group. Bettle fell to his knee, feeling the grass underneath his finger as he screamed with happiness. <laughs> I like that art. It's good. We, we actually made it. Oh my god, we made it. Yeah, ooh, we made it. We're alive. Yes, suck it, you stupid ass cave. We win. <laughs> That's a great dialogue. How can an Axel join Bell in his hollering, laughing, hollering, whole ring, whole, laughing and rolling around the grass? Vesper chuckled, unable to hide his own joy at finally being outside again. <laughs> He took a deep breath and 
and mirroring the sunlight and greenery around him. I'm glad to be out of here. <laughs> I feel like it's been forever. <laughs> Altair moved to stand next to him. Shinri followed closely behind. They both had this look around. This doesn't look f too far from where we were, thrown off the cliff. Almost exactly, actually. I remember seeing those trees at, as we fell. Guys, guys! The tree turned. Fleon was excited, excitedly rushing up to them, Magni following. Fleon held up his arm, where his crystallization had once been. Smooth skin replaced it. Alter let out a gasp, equally as trilled. The crystal are gone, man. That's a relief. How are you, are you two feeling? Great. Better than I have in hours. Same here. I think it's safe to say we made it out in time. Both Vesper and Shinri flashed their own smiles, grateful at their guildmates' recovery. Standing in the light with the, nose, the, the noise of the other tree in the background, they began to relax. The anxiety they'd all been carrying lo lo loosened. At last, they were safe. They could go. You are going anywhere. Oh shit! Yo, this is play. This is Persona. Dude, it's no, it's not. But man, it reminded me of uh, the desert song. Da -da 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 -da. Captain America is here. Oh, Len. Oh, I don't remember that coming, but thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Captain America. I discovered that at the beginning of the game, Sly. You weren't here. It's been a while now. I've been playing for a while. Darkness enveloped them once again. The sun and trees replaced by cold stone. Cold stone, Steve Austin. Let's go. Let's drink beer. <sighs> The boys had leapt to their feet, finding the grounds beneath them frozen into crystal. Looming spires of the glassy mineral caged them in, trapping them like bars to a prison cell. Booming, scornful laughter echoed around the newly formed cavern. Altair whipped around, looking for the source. He and the others drew their weapon. What did you say? Show yourself, coward! Out of the corner of his eye, he saw movement. His eye dot to it, revealing a sinister figure. The stranger stepped forward from the dark, shade clinging to his form like shadowy armor. Letting out one last cackle, he repeated his word. Sad. You are going anywhere. End of Act Eight. And it's save here. Oh, it's all ice now. Act Nine. Writer Fair. Conversation, conversation writer, Brainy. I don't remember seeing this name before. And the art is from Pause 212. Ah, yes, Leon. Uh, you can actually uh, tweeted it not that long ago. I, I can't move. The hell? The, the corruption. Wh where? Hey, yo, why the fuck is this shit spreading so fast? It's never been like this before. Uh, Altair, use that weird magic armor of yours. Do something about this. I I'll try. Let me. Huh? 
I can't move either. Shit, you two boss men were fucking doom, yo. Shut it, no doom talking. But, but the Holtair's the only one who's been able to keep the corruption at bay. If, if he can't even protect himself from it anymore, what the hell the hell are we going to help us? If you think I'm about to just give up, maybe I need to remind you who you're talking to. Let's put our fate in him. He's never led us astray before, right? Right? Uh, well... You sure about that? What about the time he... Okay, that's enough out of... That's enough out of you. My point still stands. Our leader may have his fault, but he's reliable. The corruption continues to spread through the boys, crawling up their neck. Oh, fuck. All there. Huh? But it was just your tie. I don't know. What? I think you need to hurry up and finish it getting up your front free, buddy. I I'm almost there. J just a little more. There we go. Silence filled the air, broken only by more crackling sounds as the corruption fully consumed them. Huh? Huh? This can't be happening. Oh, this is very much happening. You! That's right, me. I don't know who's who's because it's right, Ridges. Oh, Ridges. And then the other one is a Altair, okay. You have no idea how long I've been waiting for the moment where I could finally confront you. And now, you're all alone. Do you truly believe you can save them, oh hero? Oh shit! Alright, let's save. Let's manage. I don't know if there was stuff to trade. Yes. Man, battle is, has a lot of shit. Wow, three elixir? That's a bit much, sir. Give something here to, uh... Wait, I have no healing potion with him. Wait, 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 why? I'll give him the healing potion, I think. There we go. Okay, we're gonna save again because we did some changes. Okay, let me see. There are chests, but I don't know why when this is the last level. And I don't see the little fire. Or I'm blind because this is blinding white. Yeah, I don't see it. Wait, can they move? I don't know, it's confusing. I don't see it. Let's start the fight. Ah, there we go. Okay. There has to be something I can do. Come on, come on, battle. It's your town, you know. Damn it, Hacker. This is a waste of your precious remaining time. The cat be free. Every moment you spend trying to save them dooms you further. Come now. You'd have a better chance at saving them if you attack me instead. Just give up. Shut your damn mouth already. I'm not giving up on them. Your little petrification trick clearly isn't working anymore. So why do you keep trying? They're my killmates, my brother. If I can't save them. Oh. There it is. How terribly heartbreaking. Finally losing hope, are we? What do you think you can do by yourself? At this point, you're almost fully corrupted as well. There's no escape. You, too, shall fade into nothingness. Just like everyone has and everything who came here before you. 
And once you do, I will take your place. Maybe I'll take your body as well. <gasps> Just imagine it. The entire world will submit to me when I wear you like a bodysuit. You listen to their screams and cries as they quiver and quake, begging for mercy beneath my boot. The delicious despair of the people realizing they've been betrayed by the hero they trust and loved. The beloved hero overpowering and forcing them to kneel before him. The thought alone has me quivering with anticipation. You, you're insane. Ha! So you say, but remember, one's man insanity is another man's man's brilliance. Would you look at that? It appears you'll be able to drain your boys in eternal oblivion soon. Mmm. I can't. I won't. I can't lose to you, not like this. Oh no! The corruption engulf Altair entirely, his arm and weapon outstretched toward Regis in futility. Finally, finally! Regis approached Altair slowly, but stopped as several noise interrupts him. Well, it makes no difference. You won't be leaving here alive. It's time to hand this once and for all. Yes, I've grown, I've grown tired of this little game. Come, only one of us will leave this miserable place alive, hero. I'll take pleasure in striking down each and every one of you. And as you bleed out before me, begging for mercy, I may choose to grant you a swift death. Or I may watch as you gurgle on your own blood, your guts spilling out and painting the ground. Okay. Huh? Oh, that was easy. A bewildered and shocked cry from Regis <coughs> made Altair open his eyes, snapping him out of his dying reverie. The creature from earlier in the day had all snuck in, bearing those purple shards from before and brought them to each of the boys. His own slime friend. Oh, it's the friend! The friend! Nice. The moment the slime shard touched the crystals, the growth reversed and started sh streaming right into the shard itself. I wonder what happened if you don't interact with them. Is it just game over if you don't interact with them? You don't have to, right? It's kind of optional. No! What are you doing? Get off them! Don't you know what will happen? Happy, relieved tears brim in Altair's eye as he saw the faces of the others quickly appear and begins to move again. Smile. There's a bad hand. Regis tried his best to catch the lizard helping Axel, but it was too quick and snake around his body to evade his grasp. Ha! I knew you were one of the real ones. That's just as fast. While Ridges was busy earning himself a bite from a concept magmite, Phantom sat on Bettle's shoulder, holding a shard against him. Hey, about time, good buddy. I'm going to give you so many treats. When, we, when you get back, you'll... In stunned silence, the other watch as each of the other uh, their rescuers drain Phantom, popping one by one and leaving a shard behind until all of them were gone. Uh, are you really upset over that thing, that mere concept? Betel let out an anguished cry and rushed forward, but was stopped by Shinri and flay on while everyone but Altair drew their weapon. Don't you even dare speak about him! Don't you fucking dare! That was my best friend! That concept was never meant to be. He and the others were meant to be left here, forgotten and deleted. What about you, Dan? What does that make you? 
A very patient man. You're just like them, aren't you? I'd wonder the entire time who would want to trick us all here. And who better than someone who wanted to use us to have their own life outside of here? That's why you haven't left, right? <laughs> I'm so weak! <laughs> A flicker of rage flashes across Ridge's face, but just as quickly he turned into nonchalance, n nonchalance as he shrugged. Well, you have me there. Leave it to the scholar to add things up correctly. Alter motioned to everyone to put their weapons away and step toward Regis, who didn't bulge a hinge. I suppose you have question. I'm sure we all do. Who wants to go first? So what's this place really? A bird place of concept? Literally... A bird place... Oh, sorry. <laughs> a bird place of concept. Literally. It was mine. And it was theirs. This world was below was to belong to me and not allow them to exist in. However, we were abandoned, left here to be forgotten. Do you know what happens to an idea when someone stopped thinking or dreaming about it? You make a new one. That's what the maker does, yes. But the concept, the brilliant idea that was given so much love and power, you slowly with a and your mind first, then your body, until the very last thoughts of you, the initial spark that birthed you finally burns out, and thus deletes you from this world like you never existed in the first place. So those mascots are gone forever. No. I refuse to give in to that slow and hateful fate. Howful fate. I wasn't going to allow the world that was created for me to be given to another. It was mine. All I had, a fair a bit of power left to sustain me. I was always too stubborn for my own good. But before long, word reached my ears of a new hero. The one who replaced me, who came along to save the day, along with his friend. And let me tell you, nothing has been a bigger motivator than to live than rage. I should really thank you. Your very existence only added fuel to the flame of an eternal anger burning in my breast, and thus kept me alive. How those concepts managed it, I don't know. Nor do I care, except your little buddy, Phantom. What about him? He was born here, too, somehow. He must have reverse, re no, reserve enough energy in that tiny body, and with it, he managed to escape from here. No doubt, he found you not long after, then never left your side. Tell me. Were there times where you felt weak for no reason? Y yeah, yeah, maybe, no, who knows why? Didn't you wonder why? You were his food. Or rather, your very life energy was. At, at, wager, at wager, he l he took just enough to keep himself going. Joke's on you, pal. I would gladly give it to him anyway. That's the, what best friend would do for each other. The others par spared a moment to exchange glance with one another, then shrugged. Best friend, huh? Isn't it selfish of your best friend to keep you to himself all those years? Why not bring you here and help his fellow concepts? And give you a chance to give us to get to us sooner? <laughs> yeah, right. Phantom would never do that to battle. You know, when I think about it, it did get all weird and ran away from here in the past whenever we had to travel near this area. Sounds like he was trying to protect you. The rest of them would have done the same had they been able to escape. Yeah, all of them except this bastard. At least he'll be a pushover now that he's 
Now that he's lost. Oh, did you think it? this was me giving up? <laughs> While Ridges laughed maniacally, unnervingly, everyone took a step back and moved closer together. Altair had his gun saber already drawn. And at the ready. I still have some fight in me yet. Never let an energy absorbing creature like me have time to gather together what remaining power I have left. I'm a man with nothing left to lose and everything to gain from deleting you here and now. And trust me, you won't live here alive. The only one getting deleted today is you. We'll avenge Phantom and all of the others who sacrificed themselves for us. Ha! Go, go ahead and try, Shiro. Oh no, we lost all this kill, yeah. Huh. A soft light emanate from the Journal of Tempest. What does that even mean? Okay, we're gonna save. A lot have happened right now. Let's, uh. Save uh, here. Uh, no, let's save here. Is that five pages? Uh, but I've seen this one before. Where's the light? Am I crazy? Okay, maybe maybe there was something new and I just don't know what it is. Oh, bro, that 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 part in the BGM was really fucking strong. I re I really like the kind of corrupt like um, Altair start. Hey, Razor! Get a shy, get a shy. Hero Sword? Okay. Cool. Um. Armor of Light? I'm gonna have too much sting soon. Okay, let's continue. Use this. Oh, they're strong. Oh wow. Maybe it's just uh Fleon being a bit under under level. Hmm Let's get here. Check. Hero's ring of protection.
I have too many items now. Wait, I can use? Infleek? Heroes with... Sure. Ah, shit. I didn't realize I would make him, uh... Well, Betel might die. The Journal of Tempest emanate a soft healing light. What does that mean? Oh, wow, I'm throwing back my sword now? Holy shit. No damage. Too easy. The game became too- Oh shit, that's a lot of damage. I think Haka is one of my least um, leveled. Oh, okay. Oh, did he just boost everyone? Oh shit. Well, this is good against demons, so I can... Nice. Uh, Akai is kinda... in a rough spot. Crystal record. Oh, oh, nice, very nice. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make Akka move again, so he's not like in a arm way. Well, I hero crystal. Okay, and um, gonna make Shinri go here. Two time, very nice. Uh, Magni is gonna go down there. Very nice. I, I can't believe I was shitting on Magni, and now he's super strong. Use the support. Oof, okay, just four, it's fine. Um, I'm gonna run here. No damage, easy. Dodge. Level up, very nice. Not a lot of damage, it's good. Apparently only ha Hakai is really weak. Uh oh. Oof. Yo Shinri, stop. Shinri, stop. Guys, why is Shinri so cracked? That's kind of insane. Did you see that? I almost one-shot the final boss, guys. That's a problem. You guys are just laughing it out. Jeez. I've gotten all the chests, so there's that. Who needs Altair? The real hero of light is apparently uh, Shinri. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm still gonna use uh, Altair. I I, I did not even check for the dialogue in this one. I'll still buy some, dude. 
I have the broken secret item. Oh, I see. I did not realize. Um, Shinri can kill some demon, I guess. Very nice. Maybe I can kill here. Nice. I think only Altair is left. Yes. All right, Altair, it's time to finish this party. But this is effective against demons but I want to use a hero sword oh I see he stays at 1 HP huh do I need to do something special I wonder <laughs> it won't be that easy Time for round two. Oh, it's okay. I'm just gonna send Shinri. Oh, what the fuck? Did he just one shot Altair? It's okay, I guess I have Shinri. Also, Vesper is funny. You just look at the enemy and they don't attack him. Wait, that was kind of unfair. I'm not gonna lie, guys. All right. Sniff the void. All right, sniff the void. Sniffs back. Oh my god! When you sniff the void, <laughs> what the fuck? The Why is he so OP? Back. Guys, what have you done? What have you done? <laughs> okay, now I need to get Shinri out of here so he doesn't get hit, so he can survive. Oh shit, I can't. Oh, yes, 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 you're perfect. Bro, why? Look at his guild card. Can I do that? There was something about the journal shining, but I don't know what that meant. Anyway, I'm still gonna attack with the others. Oh, the debut one. Yeah, he's uh, he has crazy stat. Nice. All right, we're almost Very nice. Syringe. Man, I'm so sorry I shit on Magni earlier. Now he's really strong.
Um, who hasn't moved? Ah, here. All right, thank you for dropping by, Razor. No, not yet. I won't lose. I can't. Yo, he's running away. He's running away from Shinri, man. Oh, nice dodge. It's so funny. It's so funny. How Vesper just look at them and they, they don't attack. It's okay, I'm just gonna kill some dudes on the way. Everyone is kind of like killing their dudes that's spawning in the corners. There we go. All right. Axel now. I should go on one of those um, healing crystal. Yeah. Boom! Uh oh, that guy's in danger now. I'm gonna move. Nice. All right, Shinri, go kill him again. Oh shit, I can't? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to die for nothing. All right, let's sniff the void. Nice. Okay. Next to Oh no, Aka. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm going to break you myself. Oh no, he's breaking him. Oof! <laughs> it really make me laugh. <laughs> it's just like, no. No, I don't think. I don't think you will. I don't think you will. Do I? I kind of want to kill the dragon too. I don't need to kill the dragon. I'm just gonna kill the, the big boss. When you sniff the void, sometimes the void sniffs back. All right, let's sniff the void. When you sniff the Crazy. void, sometimes the void sniffs back. He's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, the hero of Gil Tempest, Josuji Shin Shinri. Altair died one shot, and then Shinri is just like, pew, 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 y'all dead. <laughs> There's the blood. Man, you, you guys, you guys really wanted to make sure that no one was getting, uh, getting hurt, huh, by that message? The message sounds like it would be so much worse, I feel. 
Yeah, everything was perfect. And I still managed to fuck it up. Suppose I shouldn't be so surprised, though. Power of friendship and all that bullshit. Shouldn't be a real thing, and yet... Ah... Uh, It might be a way to save your friend. Huh? Who? Philip? Panda? Fanta? What? Phantom? <laughs> Phantom? Uh, that one. But are you sure that's what you really want? Why wouldn't I? Explain. He's been sustaining himself with your life energy. It's like, oh, he's part of... Phantom is part of battle. You just have to, like, summon him. I don't care. He's my little buddy. And he can take as much as he wants. Well, maybe not as much as he wants. I would prefer to continue living. Uh, that doesn't matter right now. Just tell me how to save him, please. Once I die, you can use my armor as a catalyst to return him to life. How does that work? Focus on what you desire and allow your mana to flow through it. Creation magic? Sort of. Uh, thanks? Don't bother thanking me. You just killed me. Don't bother thanking me. <laughs> this is just a normal moment. As soon as it's over, I'll be lost to the passage of time forgotten. You forget about me soon enough, just as everyone else forgot about us. We won't. We remember you. Hmm. It's your choice, I guess. You know, I was like you all once. Just an adventurer looking to leave his mark on the world. I wanted to explore the world and help people who needed it. My guildmates, they were the best. My brothers, my family. Everything was good. Great, even. And then the... The fucking tree. The fucking tree! We still don't know what the fuck is that tree, do we? The fucking tree. That Shinri, like, made this really funny lore video a while ago. It's, it's kind of sad. I... I miss it. I miss... I, I know that nowadays, the boys have been really, like, you know, down, down to earth, kind of... kind of vibe. But I miss the funny lore. Like, them missing around their lore, quote, quote. The fucking tree. Called us concepts and told us we were no longer needed that we would be replaced with better versions of us. Of course, no one knew what that even meant. Not even our, our most learned members. We understood that general meaning of the, of the term, but now, but, how, but not how it was applied to us. So we ignored it, just continued as we were, adventuring on slimpy living, driving, driving. We don't know what's up the tree, but at least here, Sort of like the root of the world, like Yedrazo. Yeah, that's what I thought. <clears throat> I don't recall exactly how we ended up here. One of the others believed, since we were labeled Ark as concept, we were instinctively drawn here. But I wouldn't accept an explanation like that. Destined to die? Just fade away in a miserable place like this? Like hell, I was gonna let that happen. So naturally, fueled by spite, rage, and desire to protect what's mine, I forced my way out. When I returned trying to help the others, the only one left was... No, it doesn't matter. He's gone now, too. Seeing them rotting away in there, in here, it drove me mad to know I wouldn't do anything to save them. I couldn't do anything. And when I learned of your existence, I knew what I needed to do. I would bring all of you here and trap you. Watch as you struggle to escape, just as we did. 
and when you were fully prepared for eradication, I would descend to feast upon your essence. Your life energy would fuel my personal personal quest to eliminate the damn tree and find the truth. Ah, I don't regret what I've done, but despite being the one who trapped you here, it is weird to say I'm glad that you get out of here. You get out of here. Yeah, that's pretty weird. Ha, <laughs> fair enough. But that's fine. You won't have to suffer the same fate as us. Why? Hmm? You're happy about that. You just try to kill us and eat us for your damn plot, yo. I'm not sure if happy is the right way to describe what I'm feeling. It's more like my mind is clearer. I can... I can remember all of the good times with them. Is that... Huh? You came for me? Even after... After everything? Even though I... I couldn't save you? What is he? Finally. After all this time, we're all... Together. Again. On the same boat. Ridge's body shatters into fractal of light, leaving only his armor behind. Can't help if you're for sorry for him. Yeah. Hopefully he and his broken rest peacefully now. Yeah, exactly. They're on a the big boat in the sky. Obtain Riz's Armor of Hope. Why would you give me an item right now? I thought this was the end of the game. You think this can really be used to bring Phantom back? We're the, show We're the shot, right? Want some help with the process you mentioned? Yeah, not sure I can do it myself. Okay, first thing first. Place both of your hands on this. I suggest here and here. Okay, done then. Then think of Phantom. Imagine what he looks like as well as the memories you two share. No shortage of those. There's the time Phantom and I You don't need to say all of them. Just think of them. Keep 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 them at the forefront of your mind. Uh, yeah, I, okay, I can do that. Let your mana flow and focus into your hands, your palms. And the tips of your finger. I, I, I'll try. You're doing great. Just keep at it. Whoosh, whoosh. A flash of light and Phantom appears between Bettle and Daz. Phantom! Bettle squeezes Phantom tightly, making him grumble. Ah, buddy, I've missed you too. Phantom headbutts Bettle's shin. <laughs> yeah, that's my little butt, all right. I hate to break up such a touching moment, but I think we spent enough time here. Hmm, let's get out of here, shall we? We finally have for real this time. Never thought I'd be so happy to see the sun. Ah, the sky freedom from the hell hole. Hell hole. Hold oh, at last. I'm, I'm telling you, it's it's the plot. Hearing the wind in the trees after such harrowing experience brings an odd sense of peace. Hmm. Terror bear, you okay? I think we should seal this place to make sure no one else ever accidentally wanders inside. I agree. It's not easily accept accessible. But there's always a chance someone would stumble, stumble across it. Want to have crafting a high level ceiling spell, Vess? Of course. Shall we move closer to the entrance? Might as well. Hey, guys. What's up? Love you. No matter what happened, I'm going to cherish every moment I spent with you dudes. Right back at you, boss man. 
Thus do our adventurous, harrowing experiences with Tartarus come to a close. Memories linger deeply, ingrained with the promise made to the tr uh, to the one who lured them there. I'm really glad to see this battle shoes because once he was talking shit about his height, and I remember, and I I was all about uh, I was all on this Twitter post, and I was like, you silly clown. You have heels and you have a top hat. You're actually not that tall. Oh, that's a cute phantom. It's really cute. Alongside these memory, two question burns within them. Oh, everyone's here. What is the tree? <laughs> Hey, all the little guys. <laughs> Will the same thing happen to us in the future? True end. Uh, look at this. Huh? Huh? Not even like good end. True end. First try. Easy peasy. Hey, thank you for playing, Coltair. By Felix Wolf, Project Lead, Fair, Writer, Flus Gelia San, Artist, Happy Vein, I saw you in chat, Lime 52, Paw, Konaha, Konaha Kairi, Sole Sanctuary, Puff, Yue, Sky Limit, Burb, Setes Lover, That's a Mouthful, Litis Laz, uh, Albedo, Mamomi, Pixel, Pongo, Lumis Crow, Something Kaka, Rayen, Zay, Yukin, Yukinaye, Fluor, Server, Mordi, uh, No Karen, Signa, Locus, Rock the Beat, Elsong the Brewer, Zenexander, Ava Azamar, Draco, Nix, Oh, Lambda, Lambda Delta uh, helped you guys, that's cool. Brainy, Wawa, Mazzy Bean, Mio Mio, Dread, Ange, or Enge. Hey yo, thank you for playing Axel Auto. <laughs> thank you for thank you for making this game. Yeah, it's a Vesper intro. <laughs> oh, here's the picture! Oh, this is fun. Can I can I remove the text? Oh, I think it's in the gallery, right? So I see long hair Magni. I see kind of like big hat battle. There's a gallery. Okay, I'll check there. Before we call it for the day. Wow, I'm missing art. No way. No way, how? I guess because of the endings and everything? Good ending one. Good ending two. Good ending three. True ending. Ah, uh, okay. The bad and heart. Ah, uh, yes, 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 yes. I see... Oh, I like, uh, I like Haka with uh, the highlight. Oh, and the red hair. Oh, he looks so cool. The black. The He looks a bit like Gerard. <laughs> Don't tell him. Don't tell Gerard. Don't show Gerard this picture. <laughs> oh, no. And the Vesper, like, uh, short hair, dandy. Dandy man with the wink. I like this. I like this uh, picture a lot. It's great. It was made even before Armus. Man, that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Covers hacking your you guys. You have a spy within your rank. <laughs> the thing is we had that Ridges before Armus debuted. 
<laughs> I wonder... Like, I wonder here... Before Act 1... There's a secret. How? Is it if I restart the game? No, I continue just load. Ah, oh, no, I got the true hand first shot tomorrow. But I want to see what happened if I do new game again. Ah, oh, nothing. Yeah, it's just the same, right? Yeah, it's just the same. I'm just skimming. I'm just curious about what art, uh, whatever. Maybe if I lose here? Should be just the same. Ah, it's okay. I'm not gonna hunt. I'm not gonna hunt for it. All right, let me... Can I go back to main menu? Wait, can I not? Can I not? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I don't think it lets me. Yeah, there's a couple of lore thing. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah, I can go back to menu. It's okay. We can we can uh we can keep it here. We start at the beginning. Hey, anyway, thank you uh thank you guys for making this game. Um I was I'm 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 going to be honest because I know I was like uh the kind of guy I even tweeted once. Was like, Where's the gameplay? Where's the gameplay? And you guys like, "Ah, we need more time before showing any gameplay." And I was just like I feel this project has been for going on for so long and we haven't seen so much. So, you know, I was just like, hey, we'll see when it's out, right? I I wasn't like, oh my God, we've been teased and then it's going to be crazy. Um, but I could really, really see, especially on the writing, how much you guys like work so hard. Um, and the art is great. Is the, the art is great too. And uh, I had a lot of fun. I genuinely had a lot of fun. We started June last year. Yeah, exactly, right? Yeah, I remember it's been a while. I remember it's been a while. So I was just, I was just like curious all this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was great. Thank you very much to all the team. Um, thank you also for letting me using <laughs> the logo that um, to make a great thumbnail. And uh, yeah, amazing work. And there's even optional in the game. With like the, the, the bad end and the true hand and uh, all the dialogue within the combat. Much deeper than what I thought the game would be. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Great work. Great work. And uh, yeah. There's a couple of things like uh, you've seen the <laughs> from me playing it. A couple of things that, that can be fixed. But uh, yeah. Thank you very much for today. All right, I it's almost four around right here. It's a bit longer than I thought it would be, but uh, it's all good. I had the time today. All right, everyone, thank you, thank you for coming, watching Protostar Twilight, a Hollow Star Ian Tempest strategy RPG. We had a lot of fun. We finished it today. All right. Now, next week, there's going to be a lot of stuff happening. Yeah, and don't forget about all the holds. No plot holes, though. <laughs> or, or maybe. Was there any plot hole? Anyway, <laughs> next week, a lot of things happening. Um, I believe that Ollie's VN is coming out. Um, so we are definitely going to put this on the schedule. I think it was meant to be out today? Unsure question mark. I know there's been some delay, so we'll be looking for playing that next week. 
Um, a, another RPG that is very important to me is Suikoden. And the maker of Suikoden has, for many years now, worked on a title called Euden Chronicle that is also coming out. And I'm going to actually play it as an early access. I'm going to stream it early access because I have kickstarted this game a long time ago and I have the early access. I was like, hey, why not starting streaming it before it comes out? So I will be doing it. Or just chapter one. Also, keep in mind, perms are only for chapter one. Thank you, Sai. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, for on Oli. Oh, shit. Oh, maybe I'm not going to stream it then. Just chapter one is very short, depending on how long is chapter one. Okay, okay. I'll keep that in mind. Ah, oh, VN, man. I actually got problem with VN streaming once. Anyway, I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't have this problem for... Uh, um doppelganger anyway thank you everyone and holly herself said that thank you thank you for letting me know all right you know the deal everyone fist bump in the chat as we are leaving for the day fist bump in the chat let's go <laughs> all right i see the fist bump thank you thank you oh yeah 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 let's go let's go <laughs> all right everyone Thank you for today. We had a lot of fun. And unfortunately, there's no one to raid today. Today, It is 4 p.m. Japan time, so it's a bit normal. And thank you again. Have a great day. Oh, wait, 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 wait. My, my speech, my speech. Be great, okay? Um, make things. Making things is great. Even if they're small, even if they're a big project, even if it requires a lot of people to collaborate together, make things, be proud, be out there, show them. Even if only 10 people are going to see it or, or 10,000, like it doesn't matter. Be great for yourself. And maybe, maybe you'll have your game at some point. You know, featured or whatever, no, art featured. But if you don't start, never going to happen. All right. And have a great day. Have a great evening. Have a great night. No matter where you are, have a great time zone. And I'll be seeing you very soon next week. I will be posting a schedule maybe tonight. We'll see. And until then. I say to you, Otsu Janken. See you, everyone. <laughs>